colon 3. Colon 3 All your dreams day. Bruh, the timing! Oh shit, why does it always happen? Stupid software. Go away, tits. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Ni uh Nihongo Jozu. Yeah. Give me a sec. Let me move my chair. <clears throat> All right, all right, all right. I will forever be annoyed by this setup. <laughs> Hello, Morazer! Thank you so much for resubscribing! Thank you for the two months! And Cass, thank you for using your Prime Zap. Thank you for the four months. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Yuria of Power Outage. Hello. Yeah, this was on, uh... When was this? What day is it? Oh, this was on Thursday. <laughs> I think, yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, I woke up... Uh... Like, it was... It was early morning. I woke up from the... The backup... The... Backup machine... Beeping. Basically indicating that the power went out. So I got out of bed to turn off the beeping. And um <clears throat> because of the because of the, the backup thing, we still have internet. <laughs> so uh, I was like, yeah, what's wrong? And then I went to check and yep, there's a power outage and it's gonna take a while to fix. They were like Oh, this could be from like 10 a.m. until like 5 p.m. or something. What the fuck? Wait, encoding overloaded? What? Why? What the heck? I'm not running anything in the background. Oh, it stopped. What the heck? OBS is dying. Maybe I need to update it. <clears throat> Must have been bad if it takes a few hours, then again, don't you live in the boonies? Yup, sounds about right. Apparently... Someone, uh, like this, uh... It wasn't in the entire city, so... Miko draining power for her Coachella concert. <laughs> they just didn't have to... They just didn't have the budget to actually... Have enough power over there. They needed the power of Yuria. ...to fund the Coachella concert. Have you guys seen it? I saw people tweeting about it and I was like, wait, is Coachella... ...today? What the heck? Okay. So, I went to watch it. And it's the exact same setup as they have at, um... ...at Miku Expo. Like, I recognize the, the, the people from the band and stuff, so... ...they're... ...they're just doing like a big tour now, I guess. Coachella being part of it, they're just not calling it Miku Expo over there. 
It was, uh... I don't know, it, it did look a little bit better at Coachella. I don't know if the screen was larger. <clears throat> but obviously, not what people want. Imagine paying for tickets so you can watch it for free on YouTube. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, before Hatsune Miku, they had Yao So B. And uh, they were pretty good, I guess. <laughs> So you could see some some good good stuff before that. <clears throat> I don't know. I like going. Uh, I like going to festivals, but not. <laughs> obviously, haven't been to Coachella. It's way too expensive, and that seems miserable. You want a lemonade? Twenty dollars, please. <laughs> <clears throat> Me too, broke for the auto concert pain. Okay, so I told you, I posted on Twitter, like, I got tickets to Miku Expo. And... You know who's going with me? My niece. She wants to... She wants to go. She's like 10. <laughs> I am going to be the cool aunt that takes her to Miku Expo. <laughs> Heck yeah! <laughs> but I thought, like, Otto was also done by, um... A Crunchyroll? Hope there won't be an LED screen. Uh, yeah. There's some time in between. Maybe they learn. But I have my doubts, to be honest. I really think it's going to be... It's, it's just going to be the same. Tickets sold out immediately for Ado? Hmm. Understandable. How was it, how was that even? Was it like the same? Also a screen? Because she's also just a persona, right? Like she wasn't actually there. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> or as in she has like a character that she shows, she doesn't show her face. She's performing live, but you could could you see her? Wouldn't it surprise me if she, I mean obviously she's not like a, a program, so she could be actually there singing. I'm just wondering if she showed her face or not. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Well, you know what? Good for her. We could see her every day in her, our hearts. I think especially for something like a singer, it's kinda hard to if you want to do concerts, it's hard to Stay anonymous fully <clears throat> and only using a persona. If you're something like a VTuber, then it's then it makes sense because it'll it'll just be like a you know, you can be on an LED screen concert. But otherwise Thinking about it is it Clary S or Claris? Shouldn't have been shouldn't have done a face or feel it could have been a VTuber. I mean, that's a lot of things in, like, in hindsight. Especially... <clears throat> they've been famous for a while, or known for a while, and at the time you didn't really have VTubers. It's still a pretty recent thing, I'd say. I remember when software like Phaseric came out, and that was, the that was the coolest shit. And it was still super new. Even I have Phaseric. This was in 2015. Oh yeah, you could be like a... You could be a red panda. Or a dog. But that's like 3D. But I remember at the time, I was like, wow, this is so cool. It's like, you could use it as webcam. You can be a virtual character. And now it's... Common. I remember Richard does not know she tried to be anonymous, but people posted photos of the concerts, right? That's it's just inevitable. Nana was the one who started just as like singing online. I'm 
I for I thought maybe I and then she got a offer contract offer by Sony or something I don't know I don't really know hers just in passing <clears throat> yeah yeah are you tight it that's what it's called yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I'm googling the... The Clar... Clary... S... Claris... Girls now. I mean, they look pretty cute. <laughs> and they have done concerts and stuff. Oh, they used to do... They used to wear masks. Was that like their thing? Ah... It has the freeware vocalist software? No. <laughs> I mean, that's how a lot of like internet singers, especially Japanese one, ones kind of grew, right? Like it's covering Vocaloid songs. <clears throat> And now a lot of them just kind of transitioned over to VTubers. I do see there's like a, <clears throat> a large... Well, there's a lot of similarities, but there's also a bunch of differences. Like it's not everyone suddenly... There are a lot of good singers out there, but not they're not suddenly... Good streamers, I'd say. <laughs> Because I, I, for me, if I wasn't into actually playing video games, then I wouldn't be a streamer. Because then it's like, okay, what, what are you streaming? There's only so much you can talk about, or you have to do the content. Like, what do I do? Like deep dives, or just looking at things on the inter on the internet, or karaoke streams, I guess. But that's that seems really really hard to keep fresh all the time. <clears throat> would you be an IRL streamer if you didn't play games? Yeah, what 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 would you even For for a VTuber that's really hard obviously. But otherwise... do I used to do a secret past live thing, I guess. I used to do IRL streams at... Uh, <clears throat> while working at the... at the nerd shop. <laughs> so, I guess that was a thing I could stream. Yuri Aloria. <laughs> Content? I'm not so sure about that one. I don't want to go into it too much. But yeah, I, I have I have dipped my toes into more than that. <laughs> and now, honestly, now I'm happy to just be, uh, you know, to be a VTuber. I haven't found the joy in seeing IRL streams, to be honest, but chatting, I find it somewhat fun to hear. I can definitely... It's it's definitely interesting when a streamer is able, for example, to go to different countries or something. <clears throat> but other than that, I just don't really watch those kind of streams in general so the only one that i used to i didn't even watch it i would just watch like the compilation videos right like the highlights like i used to watch like hot chubby 
And she is a she is a streamer from Korea <clears throat> that traveled all over the world now. And she learned most of her English through streaming, which is really which I find really admirable and also cute. What else? No, I have no idea. I don't watch vlogs either. <laughs> Like, they really have to do... ...something... ...interesting... ...in the first place, and then I will just watch the highlights of it, right? I find it admirable in general that people can watch... ...streams that are hours long... ...for background noise. I, or at least I know a lot of people use me as background noise, and... That I understand, because you're doing something else. But fully focusing for hours? I find that admirable. <laughs> it seems like very much a thing that you do on the side, right? IRL stream exploring New York City sewer system. <laughs> exploring the Paris catacombs. The compilations is a great way to get updates from the streamer in a concise manner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you like you can get like the gist of it, of course, like the highlights. And I know clips can get uh, clips are kind of a hit or miss, right? Because people who only watch clips might get the wrong idea of a streamer, or there are a lot of things that are clipped out of context. For me, that's not really an issue since I'm not really, really a large streamer. <laughs> but I see it with a lot of big streamers who get clipped all the time with their stupid clickbait titles. And it's like, yeah, I guess it gets the clicks, but if you just see it in passing, like the thumbnails and the titles, and you're not actually viewing the clip, you're just like... What? Are they really like that? Did they say that? There are certain streamers that don't watch clips for because it's always out of context stuff. You should probably... That's That sucks for the... That sucks for the streamers. You should probably just block the clippers. <laughs> if they are the ones that are being taken out of context. Sometimes they appear on... They, they, they love to appear on my... Um, oh, okay, okay, that's what you mean. Sorry, the other way around. They love to appear on my recommended page and I'm constantly just... Don't recommend channel, don't recommend channel, don't recommend channel. <laughs> YouTube nowadays has been such a fucking shithole when it comes to their recommendations. I'm back with food, what's up? Hell yeah, enjoy your food. I actually had my bacon sandwich for lunch. <laughs> I had the BLT. Very good. In Hololife, when this happens, these clippers get often called out good. Do they change their behavior though? I come to into a complaint, what did they break this time? Mostly, like, the, the search and the, the recommendations have been totally fucked up. Yesterday, I was just... I kept refreshing my page and then I kept going, don't recommend channel, I am not interested, so many times. And then I would refresh and it would still show the same video that I just hit. What the fuck? Give me a sec, I need to open the door, my cat's at the door. Uh. Explains why your YouTube feed is so clean. Yeah, by actually hiding everything that I don't want to see. <laughs> Until it becomes what I want it to be. 
I'm tempted to do that for Twitter. Honestly, fuck Elon. I'm not feeding his ego. For uh, Twitter, I am using a script. Um, that doesn't show me anything that's related to the algorithm. I don't have a for you page. I don't see trends. All I see is my who I'm following, retweets, which I never look at, and just my notifications. The one thing that I'm still seeing, though, is the freaking boobs in bio bots. I don't know what to do about those. Have a great chatting session. Gonna continue my sleep. Please enjoy your sleep. Thank you for hanging out for a bit. Also, Brody Mans, thank you so much for following. Do you really want to filter those out? Yes. <laughs> Uh, what script extension was it? Let me see... I think it's like a... Is it this? Oh, it's called... Uh... Let me double check if it's that. Oh, it's called control... It's, it's just an extension. It's called control panel for Twitter. Keeps you on chronological following timeline for you is hidden. No trends, suggestions, or promoted tweets. Retweets are moved to their own tab by default. V view metrics are hidden. And quote retweets of blocked slash muted accounts are hidden. And I think the script I am using is just a script that keeps Twitter Twitter. So I, I don't see the X logo and I, it's still just everything is Twitter. No X. <laughs> so yeah, I highly recommend. It's uh, obviously when I use it on my phone, I still have the For You page and everything. That's still normal, so sometimes I do browse this the, the, the hellscape known as X and I spend so much time just blocking every fucking checkmark reply at the top that's just baiting for replies so that they can get impressions which in turn gives them money. I blocked a shit ton of those. Also, I block every promoted tweet I see. Unless it's actually related to... You know, what I'm interested in. So, I have blocked so many... Promotional accounts. That most of my ads are actually like video game companies. Or like, mostly like... One that I see often is a, um, I think a publisher, like an indie game publisher, or I see stuff like Shonen Jump, which is obviously manga, and it's also something that I don't want to see, I just don't want to see ads, but it's at least more in the field of what I might be interested in. So I'm looking now, I got a freaking Black Desert Online ad, which, sure, I'm not gonna play it. I don't give a shit about the game. But, it's related to video games at least. <laughs> and it's not another AliExpress Timu dropshipping ad. But I do still see a, see a bunch of unrelated stuff. But at least, there's more things to... to what I actually post about. Yeah, it's mostly... Most tweets are dropshipping junk. And what I see very, very often is... 
a different account promoting the exact same dropshipping product. All of them have the same website. They just have a different name and a different logo. It's all the same. And it has legit been so much worse. I found out today that Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is getting a re-release with all the DLC for just $60. Xenoverse DLC currently costs $400? Holy shit. I mean, what is it? Is it just characters? I would not buy that for $60 either. <laughs> I once had an ad on Twitter where some betting company were promoting their website slash Twitter through empty accounts, so blocking them won't really work. You would just have to get ad from another... Yeah, you just get like the same thing, right? But just from another user. I don't know, I'll block all of them. If I'm just regularly browsing... Block. Yeah, at least on PC, I don't see it at all. And I spend most of my time on the computer anyway. Since I am a... I'm an iPad kid. Actually, not an iPad kid. S screen... Screen child? What is that for, like... <laughs> not Gen Z. <laughs> a monitor child. <laughs> Screen time child. <laughs> uh, I do see it. I'm like browsing now and there's so much crypto ads. That's really annoying though. I like I I do when when at some point you have blocked so many ads that you're just gonna see the most random shit that users. It's like just some some guy on Twitter who decided you know what I'm clicking promote see what happens you know. And it's like I ate a sandwich and it's like promote a tweet. Those are the ones that I like. <laughs> That's what I want to see promoted. <laughs> I'm blocking Black Desert online. <laughs> I've had enough of them. Yeah, it's honestly a never-ending task. Bitcoin was on the rise, so a bunch of those crypto bros suddenly had some money to push more scams. Alpha is the new one? I don't know, I just see them all the time. Or it's like an app to promote Bitcoin. It's like, oh, you wanna... Uh... Do you want to invest? War. War never changes. Anyway. I'm sure there are a bunch of, uh... There, there is uh, extensions that automatically block sponsors on YouTube. Uh, I highly recommend those. So essentially, what it does is just it's it's kind of user based. So what users do is like they watch a video and it's like this video is sponsored by NordVPN, and then you kind of report on which part of the video that is, and the extension automatically skips it or just cuts it out. I don't know how it works. Highly recommend that. Sure, get that bag. I, I, 
get get, get the sponsor. I just don't want to see it. <laughs> And there's also a bunch where you can uh, block channels from not showing up ever in your regs or anything. There's this guy who makes these. Uh... Oh, what's it? I I I don't obviously I don't know what he's calling it, but he he would show up in my recommendations so much. It's a person who makes like Nintendo Switch videos. It's a guy with long hair. And, uh, for example, he would make clickbait videos like, Oh, I tested out the Switch Pro, the Switch 2 that's, that's coming out. And obviously, like, that's not, that's not happening. I hate it. I hate clickbait. <laughs> I just hate it so much. <laughs> Block your channel. I don't really mind... Like, I understand you gotta play the YouTube game, right? So I don't mind... Uh, slides clickbait, if it's like a lie or clickbait, it's like an actual line from the video. Like, I have to do that. Or it's at least sort of related. But not something that's... Obviously not real. Calling, uh... This dead celebrity at 3am kind of deal. Hoyin, hi, welcome. Everything must be perfectly balanced, yes. Okay. okay. Anyway, I hope you're all having a good weekend. It feels like Sunday to me, but it's Saturday. It's because I didn't stream yesterday. I've been strangely, uh... Uh, tired the last couple days. But I feel a bit better now, so I hope uh, it's slowly going away. And it stays away. And uh, the weather is getting nicer. I've been going on walks. Yesterday, I went out on two walks and I took my cat. Which means mostly just a bunch of standing around because he wants to sniff everything. And then you slowly walk like two meters and then... Oh, I gotta sniff this car. I gotta sniff this tree. <laughs> it's not very thrilling. But it's what he likes, so... I just gotta do it. I went to Mika as a 3M challenge gone wrong. Sniff this, sniff that, sniff it again, yes. Try to go into someone's backyard. And not being allowed to. What is this about? <laughs> my cat. Walking my cat. I have been walking him... Uh, a couple times without a leash, right? And... Um, that was first the only way to... He wanted to go outside, but only... Only without the leash. Ugh. But since he's been going onto other people's properties, like I don't want to risk him like getting shot or whatever. <laughs> it won't happen. But I, I, I just don't want him to be stuck there, and it's gonna be a, an issue. So I've been walking him with a leash again. And now that he's been outside a couple times, he's been he's he's been tolerating it. Actually, he didn't tolerate it before. Why would anyone shoot a cat? I don't know, because it's America. And they are in their property, so... Some people are insane. I, I don't think it will happen here. But obviously, I don't trust people. <laughs> decided to let him walk freely. He decided to follow me all the way to school, to my school. Yo, that's so cute! My... My cat would do that when he was young as well. I would bike to work and he would run after me. <laughs> it was so sad. He's like, sorry, I have to go to work. I feel so bad for him. And he would he would follow me around like around the around the neighborhood too. But that's where he was uh, allowed outside in general. 
He was just an outdoor cat. I, I am afraid to uh, have him be outdoors here. So, just leash it is. It's okay, gets me outside too, you know. Here in the US, plenty of pet owners don't train their pets to behave outside of the house and as a result, you have the right to handle an improperly raised animal. Yeah, I've seen... Um, uh, what was it? There was this, this, this guy on YouTube who has like a really, really large property, like a farm, and he has a bunch of farm cats and other animals. And one of his... one of his cats... At some point, didn't come home. I don't know if he ever got back, because I didn't really follow the channel. I just saw that it was kind of reported on. There's some guy that showed up in my shorts. <clears throat> was it that one? I don't think so. And, um... So... The, the neighbor's dog... Uh... Was on their property. And killed their cat. Yeah, there, yeah, one of them missing. And he, well, yeah, he um, he thinks that or like he doesn't have to prove. I think, but it's very much implied that the um, neighbor killed the dog or killed the cat. Yeah, oh, yeah, I think it's that guy, Nate Petroski. My name is Nate, this is Narrowway Homestead, and this... <laughs> Wait, this is what happened? No, I, I'm... I'm not sure if they ever found it. This was a while ago, right? I kind of forgot about it. I'm checking out the channel now. There's a lot. I don't know. His neighbors have untrained dogs that got loose and likely killed a cat, leaving dagger. Yeah, that was... I think that was it, yeah. Man. Fuck that. I know that like Corn just really wants to be outside by himself, but I I am so like if something happens to him, I'm gonna be I'm gonna feel incredibly guilty and so sad. So I could never. So I'm just walking him on, him on a leash. It it could be it could be a wild animal, and it could also just be a car. Because he's kind of stupid, you know? <laughs> Yuria, how are you getting into the zones of content that I'm into? This is the kind of stuff that... Like, those stuff... That guy... This is the stuff that shows up in my... In my shorts sometimes. And I... Follow... Like, a bunch of... Um, I, I'm sorry, it's cringe. I'm on, I'm on Reddit sometimes. And I follow a bunch of animal subreddits. <laughs> <laughs> so that's so sometimes where I see it pop up. Oh no, and I, I I think I saw it maybe on like the YouTubers one. Where someone reported on him like, oh, this guy <laughs> makes like animal videos and his cat has been killed by his neighbor or something like that. Oh yeah, this is what I saw. Nate Petroski gets bitten by a dog. Oh, he got bitten by the dog too. Gets bitten by a dog after a trespass on his property and possibly killed his cat. The owner of the dog makes TikToks to show videos of her dogs being friendly and implies that she could shoot Nate's free roaming dogs even though they are on his property. 
His dogs don't listen on his live video. These dogs are trained and loved and cared for and are good with people. Act like a threat and things might be different again is on him on the pro- This guy- This woman can't even fucking spell. TikTok versus YouTube homesteaders. There's this some guy that feeds a seagull. Even the seagull can be tamed. People who can't handle their dog are just bad people. I don't know, just don't have them run loose. Right? Oh. Unless obviously if it's on your own land. I've seen this guy on YouTube shorts a couple of times. His dog is called Minion. A, an obviously really well-trained dog living with multiple other animals. I've seen his videos with the dog and the cat that went missing, just seemingly really peaceful and happy in their home. It's absolutely disgusting she would just say, just shoot my dog then, and then post a video going, look how sweet and friendly my dogs are, cuddling the dogs and shit. What a fucking psychopath this person is. Your dog literally relies on you to survive. I don't know about wherever these people are from. But if a dog bit a person or killed a cat, it would be... Or killed a pet, it would be put down. I cannot imagine how hard it would be to go through as an owner, but this person seems to have no care at all being responsible for their dog. I literally... And does boil down to its life or death. Not to mention the fear that this could happen again. That your dog could attack or kill. I know it's not confirmed that these dogs killed the cat. But they may have. They may have also hurt or chased the cat away. Or prevented it from coming home. And it is confirmed that the dog bit at least one person. She quickly backtracked when people found out it was her dogs that got loose and she realized that his dog is a livestock guardian dog and that he has a job plus she's the county animal control officer what the fuck what the heck makes you wonder how these people get these jobs right Fuck, fucking hell I get the holy water. <laughs> Country life can seem high as a kite sometimes. Some people, that's true. Yeah, just some people just shouldn't, shouldn't have animals. Also, do you see it with um, so many, like, for example, uh, like hoarder situations or like old ladies who have like 20 cats? who are not neutered or spayed. So, obviously you're just gonna get more cats and kittens. And meanwhile, the house is a fucking shithole uh, and a literal biohazard because there's shit that's not being clean. And these animals are just in unsafe environments. They're just so selfish. Isn't there, uh, I'm, I guess in, if you can buy animals, isn't there like, isn't it pretty, I, I guess some breeders might be strict, some are not, but I know in Allure's if you want to adopt an animal, doesn't matter if it's like a cat or a dog, you get screened and everything. And they will ask you about like your home situation, like they, I had to, when I adopted Corin, I had to fill in a form about how big my living space was, what part of the city I lived in. Um, 
Do I have... Like, what job do you have? Do you have enough time to spend with the animal? Can you take care of them? What's your income? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Like, super strange, like... I would say just for, like, adopting one animal, but they're just... Obviously, the people at their shelter, they wanted the... They want the best for the animals, too. So, they want the right people to adopt them. And a bad apple will come through, like, it happens. But if people can, like, this can have... Dogs or cats... They made laws even harsher for this in my country starting this year. Oh, that's good. It's just, like... I hate it when... When animals... Just have, like, bad owners or obviously get abused or anything. Because they're animals. They don't deserve it. <laughs> Shelters on the animal to have a shop... Shops on money. It, it's insane to me that... Things like at least cats and dogs can be adopted from a sh from a shop or bot. That's banned. Where I am from too. Seeing like I saw this in Japan a lot, right? Those um, they had so many pet shops, and they were had dogs and cats in like the tiniest spaces, and they all seemed so bored. And they had no energy. And like their only... Their only joy in life was maybe being taken out of their little cage. So that people could see if they were cute or not. Obviously they were uh, fucking cute, but yeah. Japan seemed very notorious in that aspect. Like I just didn't... Same with just like... The cat cafes, I can kind of get, but things like owl cafes, I'm 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 suspicious. <laughs> it's hard how they can really become accessories sometimes. That even here locally, they know that they are expensive. People steal them. Mm. I saw a video of um, a shop cat. This was like two or three days ago. Being stolen, like in front of the store. <laughs> and it's a cat that usually just stays inside. It just like it it its routine was after its meal, it would sit outside for a moment and then it would go back in. And during that moment it was outside, someone just stole it. What the heck? Red Panda Cafe, what the heck is that? Don't keep Yuria in a cafe. True! Shelters want money as well. Shelters do want money, right? Because otherwise, how they're fucking... They're not a charity. How they're gonna operate. I had to pay, obviously, to adopt a cat still. And I had to pay for surgery fees. But that was, like, arranged right away. Like, I adopted the cat and it's like, Okay, we're gonna arrange the surgery to... Neuter him now. Okay, like, you have no choice. It's gonna happen. He's already chipped. You're gonna pay for that too? <laughs> also mandatory. Please chip your animals. I haven't heard of... Yeah, that's very... I walked past a couple when I was in Japan. <sighs> They're a bunch. They look very cute though. But yeah, I wonder how happy those animals really are. The thing is like, at a cat cafe... Uh... At least, I went to a cat cafe in Japan. And the cat... The, the, the cats... 
I wanted to say cats and animals at the same time. I was gonna say cannibals. Cannibals. <laughs> They were so uninterested and bored. Like, they didn't want to be pet or hang out with people. They just wanted you to have treats. <laughs> because there's people there all the time that want their attention. There's some... I know that... This seems generally a thing in the West, at least, that the... Uh, if there is a cat cafe, you can adopt the animals. And they will just... they will kind of get replaced... <laughs> ...by other cats that need to be adopted. So it's kind of a way to... It's almost like a foster program. <laughs> My cats are adopted from the street, but they were dropped in a really concurrent areas so i took them in after they followed me a lot that's it that's how that's how the pet distribution system sometimes works they just show up it's like i want to live with you i was like oh okay i guess so come in then then you have them <laughs> anyway kind of a depressing subject The pet distribution program gave me an orange cat. It was destiny. <laughs> Cute! Alaris doesn't really have strays. If you... I was saw a cat once hanging uh, about where I live. And it just seemed to just be there. It, it looked taken care of. And I gave it food and it was super hungry. So it definitely seemed lost. So it just posted it on like a website like, Hey, we found this cat. And then later on, like the owners messaged. And they were really happy that... Uh, <laughs> it's like, oh, you give them this food. It's like, oh, he lost that kind of food. Thank you. <laughs> so they found him. And usually if you do find a stray, we have... Um, you can call like I guess it's like animal control. You could call like the pet ambulance, is what they call it, or animal ambulance. And they will go pick them up. So that get so that they can at least get put into shelters and that they're not out on the street. So if you see cats out and about, they're usually just outdoor cats and they're usually friendly. I remember when a when cats visited me <laughs> and we just walked around the city it was like yo there's so many cats here and they're all friendly what the fuck it's like yeah just because they're generally owned by people <laughs> there's no strays they're just being cute because they're used to people my friends place in canada i heard there's more bunnies as strays i mean they're just wild bunnies then right or is it like a specific breed? How to tell the difference between a cat being lost and a cat being stupid? Well, if a cat's stupid, they can get lost, right? <laughs> but you can generally post about having found a cat and you can also bring them to a vet or a shelter and they can scan if for they can scan them for a chip. And if they have owners then that information will be on the chip and they can be called. <clears throat> I love the videos of stray cats from Istanbul. Nice to see them having freedom on the streets while being loved and fed by people. Oh, yeah! <laughs> the cats, they're so cute! I love those two. Got one rand. So... 
there's always those kind of those those the videos of the 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 feeders that like you can donate or something and then food comes out right those those kind of things and they all they all have uh, they give nicknames to the cats like the the one that uh, <laughs> that stares. And they call they always call them cars too instead of cats. <laughs> but please, if you find those, those are very cute videos, but never read the comments. Because there's always people in there that wanna ruin your fucking day. Japanese cat island. It's also like the people there they take care of them, but what they really need is also a, a spay and neuter program because they're reproducing like crazy there's way too many fucking cats there <clears throat> oh yesterday i was playing um Emerald uh, Rogue, was it? Yeah. I played a little bit on Discord and I caught I caught a Kyogre. And I got the the orb for it so that it becomes like the primal Kyogre. And at some point all my fucking Pokemon died. I only had Kyogre left and I was doing um and I had to fight an elite four member and I I won with just Kyogre. Corsola died. Yeah, I accident I accidentally forgot to press B while it was evolving. And it evolved it like after it evolved it died. <laughs> Fucker. I, I could beat entire teams with just Kyogre. Like no wow, okay. Ubers be strong, I guess. Corsola, I exist so Corsola can use Eviolite. Exactly. It's been so good though. It's like MVP. Strength Sap is so good. Just Will O Wisp and Strength Sapping everything. Especially when you're using doubles and the NPC won't switch out or heal. If you can cripple one physical attacker, then you can just focus on the other one. Not like how your grass has been consistent Uber's presence since it showed up. Yeah, afterwards, I, I lost a run. Um, During the next route, I caught like... I only had... Oh yeah, I, I caught... What was it called? The the, the dark ghost type spirit tune I, ca I caught. It wasn't that good. And a... Oh, I caught a Cresselia. <laughs> and the rest was filled up. I was like, lands. I ha I just had three Dragonites. <laughs> and of course... The... The one thing... It's like, uh, you fight a trainer that's 100% like, counters your team. I fought like a fairy something, I think. I don't know. And at some point, even my Kyogre couldn't handle it anymore. <laughs> I did fight... Uh, that was a fun fight. I had to fight one of those... Just like, a strong trainer showed up and I only had Kyogre. And I only had bug types. But what they had was a freaking shit ninja. And I didn't have anything, like any move to counter it. So all I could do... I, I did have so much money. I had like 50 max potions, so many berries and anything. I could uh I could PP stall it out. I won a fight with PP stalling. <laughs> it was using it had to use Will-O-Wisp and Toxic 20 times and uh, and it had like I think Shadow Sneak is like 30 PP. And it had protect. <laughs> and I, I won. It, it struggled to death. 
<laughs> Who would win an invulnerable bug ghost or a single funny recoil move? Yeah, my Kyogre had like Aqua Ring, so it was slowly healing too. So I didn't have to use healing that often. I used all my X items on it. I just needed to stall out turns. It was great. I'm looking at my RAM monitor and I see a video Splatoon, Nintendo's darkest franchise. I kind of want to see what it's about. It's probably going to be about like the the lore being kind of yo, it's actually really dark and the people dead and yes. The image of Spongebob in a- Exactly, exactly! <laughs> the video- Whoa! Okay. Let's click on it, I'm curious. Splatoon is a game that I feel like was poorly marketed in the U.S. Oh, this game. This guy wants to be. Uh, what's this? This this YouTuber's name Jake or something? Wants to be that guy so it bad. It made people view Splatoon more as a kids game, which usually means it lacks more of the depth that more mature games have. It's a sentiment that I see passed around a lot. That Splatoon is nothing. This more is than very baby much a trend that I see popping up on in in general, like the newest, the new generation of YouTubers are YouTubers who like to stand up and hold their microphone. No one is sitting down at their desk anymore. Everyone has to stand. <laughs> shooter. And how could you blame them? The commercial says you're a kid like a billion times. But once you play the game and get more familiar with its world, it paints a much darker picture of itself. Not this the is Nintendo's the darkest franchise, and it's not even close. They pay for the green screen, they will use the green screen. <laughs> Splatoon takes place in the real world, like the one that you currently inhabit, just much farther into the future, and in a future where humans no longer exist. They were wiped out by a war, but not World War III, World War V. During this war, and for reasons currently unknown, a nuke was launched into the South Pole. And remember, this is the future. This is a much bigger nuke than what we have today. All of the heat caused by the nuke melted all of the ice caps, and this resulted in a lot of water. Enough water to flood the entire planet. Humans weren't entirely um, unprepared, though. The humans very quickly began about to build a warming giant out. arc. Yo, global warming caused Splatoon, so we should just keep doing what we're doing. Make it worse, even. Make it worse. Let people die out. Let Splatoon happen. Oh, wait, wrong lore. The humans very quickly dug underground, creating these large dome-like structures that would be their new habitats. Unfortunately, all this really did was delay the inevitable. One by one, generation by generation, these colonies would eventually fall, except for one. Alterna. Three when appointing leaders, Alterna chose their scientists to be the highest in charge. They believed that these would be the ones capable of bringing us back to the surface if it ever re-emerged. During this time, one scientist learned how to refine liquid crystals from the body fluids of squids. These crystals would then project the wants and desires of humans onto them. It, it's, don't look too far into it, it's like future sci-fi tech shit. These crystals would then be mass-produced and lined along the walls of the dome, and since what everyone really wanted was freedom, it would project an image of the sky. 
Alterna wow. seemed to have been doing great. Maybe the human race wasn't doomed to extinction after all. Unfortunately, the next generation wouldn't be as lucky. The leaders of this generation grew more and more impatient, and they got to work. They built a giant rocket that they planned on using to get back to the surface, but unfortunately, this would be their downfall. During its first test... Because the it just flew into the fucking dome while they were underground, not knowing that the sky was fake? This launch, the energy from the boosters was so powerful that it overloaded the crystal lining on the dome and caused a catastrophic cave-in. This would kill almost everybody in Alterna, except for a few who would die to starvation now that their food was cut off. And this was officially the end of humankind. But for marine life, it was just beginning. The liquid crystal now raining from the sky very quickly polluted Alterna's bodies of water, where it would meet the marine life within. It imbued them with the remnants of emotion- I actually didn't know this. Like, I couldn't get- like, during the game, I couldn't care less about the lore. I just wanted to play funny squid game. <laughs> Ooh, shooting ink feels good. <laughs> that were stored by humans and it very quickly accelerated the evolutionary process and 12,000 years later humans base basically the marine life now carried humanity's desire to escape the underground and they would eventually find the tunnels that the humans used to initially escape the apocalypse why the humans didn't just use those in the first place maybe they deserve to go extinct regardless they made it and the surface of the earth was once again beaming with life luckily all of these creatures got along and they were able to create a world that humans failed to one where they didn't care about the minor differences between each other and they got along they were able to build a better world together just kidding race war the squid would evolve into inklings while the octopi would evolve into octopus <laughs> you can very obviously tell that they're not that different Thanks and they the actually hydrating. got along for a good while too but then the sea levels began to rise swallowing up the remaining land again and this would spark conflict this would mark the beginning of the great turf war for a while it seemed Hyper like the octolings were the ones to soon claim probably. victory but then the inklings came back using some isn't this like a lot of nintendo games have a lot of underlying dark lore right like what about zelda like in Ocarina of Time, they had a they they had like a mass torture room that they would put prisoners in. Like prisoners from the royal family would be put in a freaking mass torture room. <laughs> a, a dungeon temple cave thing. Underground. <laughs> Just like Mario Galaxy and those weird planets. I don't know. This is just one of those like, dark things that I know about in Nintendo. And like the... That's like the Shadow Temple. Pikmin is pretty dark too. Yeah. You laugh, but given enough time and with a couple of changes to their lifestyle biology... Cephalopods would be a good contender for inheriting the planet when we disappear. You know what? Good for them. Good for them. <laughs> Pretty insane methods. Not like the Octolings didn't we have a bunch of war weapons. Me. It, it, it seemed like the Geneva Convention died for off of humans. With the Inklings and their Those nukes animals. winning the war, they would force the remaining Octoling back underground where they came from. Where the human race was buried and left like to Mario, rot. The place they were mentioned? born yeah, but that's to actually escape. Like the Inklings were now living lavishly Ocarina. on the surface. And since their evolution was guided by humans, I had humanism, a period of my life where... No. Where we, I watched a bunch of those videos of Zelda or Karina lore. <laughs> Dire, their societal development was strikingly human like. I mean, they played games, they made music, they had a rich fashion scene, they had celebrities. Creepy video game Cannibalism. No, Why like, is it well established wait, I'll, I'll go, wait, that I'll Inklings are cannibals? Whatever. How are the Octolings <laughs> doing? This. Damn. Not too bad, actually. They happen to be quite good at repurposing old human technology and creating new things out of it. And with that, they would actually thrive pretty well underground. Unless, of course, they came across Commander Tartar, who had been watching the Inklings and Octolings this entire time. Commander Tartar is a borderline sentient telephone created by a once great human scientist to pass down the knowledge of humanity to the next promising species, may there be one. Basically a tutorial for everything that Wait. the next humans would have access to on day one. So Tartar waited, and he waited, 
For 12,000 years, he waited. And then there it was. A life. baby squids are so cute. Intelligent <laughs> life. As he watched the Inklings and Octolings, he actually grew quite hopeful of the future. He was ready to do what he was made to do. But then he kept watching. He watched as they grew an overwhelming obsession for fashion, something so meaningless. He watched as they waged entire wars over the most minor of differences. As he watched, he grew angrier and angrier, but what is a telephone yes. gonna do? There he is. <laughs> Why is so now that the octolings, which are well established <laughs> to be equal to humans, are underground, they'll eventually come across a place known as the Deep Sea Metro. This is where Tartar is conducting his plan. He entices the octolings by saying that he can get them back to the Promised Land. The Promised Land obviously being the surface where the octolings used to call home for like a few minutes. As you can imagine, <laughs> his actual plan was a lot different. He blended people. I'm not, look, that, that's a blender. Uh, he blended. Yeah, I remember. That was kind of fucked up now to think about it. But it's like funny squid game, so how bad could it be? People into a fine pace. Not before making them go through his rigorous trials to make sure they're worthy. These trials are what make up the gameplay in Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion. And let me tell you, as someone who's played it, that is the hardest piece of gameplay in the entirety of the Splatoon franchise. He was not going easy on these people. So why was he? blending people into a paste is he just twisted like that like he, he just loves watching his victims squirm around in a in a blender while a, while a spinning bed of knives slowly lowers upon them while exactly what he does to it is unknown what we do know is that he turns it into what is called blended ink using the dna inside the the slush this ink can then be used to sanitize inklings and octolings when you're sanitized you lose all of your memories completely wiping your sense of self it drains you of life's energies it essentially zombifies you and turns you into a husk of your former Herself. Let me paraphrase that for you. This telephone. How the, the game explains all this is just random pieces of collectibles that you find throughout the levels that barely anyone reads. <laughs> slowly blends living people into a paste and then uses the paste to lobotomize It's just people. like, oh, these are evil. <laughs> you know, oh, okay. Sanitized octolings yeah, follow Tartar's every order, probably because they're just being born. <laughs> Instead of abiding by its purpose and helping the Inklings and Octolings through social development, it decides to attempt full control. All he had to do was get enough blended ink to sanitize everybody. And he was going to use this. The boss music for this is banger, though. That big-ass cannon is full of blended ink. Luckily, you're playing as the Octoling, so you win somehow. It just sucks that you won only after Tartar killed 10,000 other Octolings. And you were supposed to be 10,008. Tartar is truly as evil as it gets. This video isn't meant to be a comprehensive analysis of Splatoon lore. Agent There's a eight. lot that I didn't go over. I just wanted to cover what I consider to be its darkest story and how it contrasts to the view that Americans have of this game. But there really is like so much that I couldn't that get Americans to. Like, did you know that every single song in Splatoon is written you, by huh? an in-game music group or artist? That is some of the coolest attention to world building I have ever seen. My favorite artist is Deadfish, a partially sanitized Octoling who actually willingly became sanitized. Most of them is gone, but they're still in there somewhere. If you rewind back to the intro during this sequence, I actually used one of Deathfish's songs. In fact, to be clear, every single song in this entire video is a Splatoon song. All right, exactly, one more thing. Channel members no not only watched this video early, that. but they it also got a It was just like, man, this DLC has hard levels, I guess. Oh, and there's a blender. <laughs> there's like a blender guy. Behind the scenes info, such as like early scripts, an early version of the intro, uh, early thumbnails that I never used. If you would be interested in seeing that kind of stuff from me, becoming a channel member is only two Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. <laughs> the DLC is it the, the lore is explained in Europe and Asia, just not in America for some reason. <laughs> Just always make the final boss really high.
just like gay keep girl boss behavior. <laughs> It's something that I don't really care about or want to play through again. But it was good DLC. <laughs> Especially after the solo game normally was really, really bad. Or just boring. Let me fix that. It disconnected my account! Okay, can you guys spam some emotes? <laughs> it should work again. This is also this like they they collab with the Oh yeah this song <laughs> like a creepy sound. There was this like the final boss that has like this weird sound. Anyway, rest in peace Splatoon on the Wii U. Okay, so this bad. I thought it would be more screaming. <laughs> anyway, what is it? Uh, Shadow Temple lore. It's one of these that's like... Like, oh, the royal family used to like torture people here. Real quick, Blood of Wind Waker. And who can forget the most recent installment into the franchise, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? Is While much is known real? about what transpired a hundred years ago, the same can't be said for the events predating the creation of Sheikah technology. No. This one? It's 41 minutes. I don't think it's that one. I don't remember watching that much of a long video about it. Psst. Hey. Hey, kid. You wanna see a dead body? Yeah. Bloodiest are known as the Shadow Folk. Conducted here on the behalf of the royal family will make you think twice about the morality of Princess Zelda's kin. Within the Shadow Temple, 
the Sheikah convene in order I don't to accomplish even see it's very this specific one. tasks ordered by the royal family of Hyrule. Missions that like the temple and the Sheikah themselves. It's not this guy either. Why is it so uncomfortable? I don't know. There are a bunch of... There's probably a bunch of videos about this. For you. Well, at least, it's, at least it's not showing the freaking... One guy, one cup or something video again, or jar. That always loves to show up on the for you thing. Or people also watched. That's, it's over there. <laughs> The Dark Truth videos are so good material to eat with. Which ones? Oh, is it? Okay, maybe it was. I don't remember it though. I remember. I watched this video a too. perfect atmospheric song in a video game doesn't exist. But it just tells about the sound. We're justifying sound. it by believing that they're putting the needs of the many over the needs of the few. Or maybe now. it was this video. <laughs> First, let's talk about what the heck is going on at the Shadow Temple. I'd say this is the most unlike of any other dungeons in the game. Whereas the Forest Temple was very in keeping with its lush green aesthetic before Phantom Ganon and his ghosts and Stalfos took up residence there, here you can tell this place was designed from the ground up to house evil spirits. Oh, you think darkness is your ally? You merely adopted the dark. Very random, I just saw a tweet. It. it appears Krypton Future Media more did release a public it. statement regarding the LED screen used at Miku Expo. It was an inquiry by Business Insider. They stated that the LED screen is planned to be used for the rest of the tour, but they are listening to feedback. A spokesperson for Miku's creator, Krypton Future Media, told Business Insider that the LED screen technology will continue to be featured at shows across North America and Europe. We appreciate the fan feedback regarding Miku Expo's North America tour, and we will continue to refine our show experience with our audience in mind. Uh, that was such a... Yeah, you can't really do it at this point. But honestly, like, do it for the Europe tour. Like, it's way later. You can use the LED screen, but make the tickets cheaper and tell the fans this beforehand. <laughs> or go big on the LED screen, just like freaking Hololive does. Anyway, it's just a cut cost. I saw someone in the video in like in a video saying it's like oh i used to work on like a previous tour where we did use it's not really the hologram but like a project projection right with glass and it was super expensive so they're just not doing it because it's fucking expensive and if it breaks it's not an easy fix unlike an led screen I didn't see the light until I was already a man. By then, it was nothing to me but blind. <laughs> the shadows betray you because they belong to me. The other temples feel like actual temples, whereas this one feels more like a true dungeon, which coincidentally it is. The Legend of Zelda. But how much did the ticket cost quote, in North America? I paid like 70, $70. seventy dollars. It is a place where the Sheikah entrusted with the lives of Hyrule's royal But I see people saying it's like, oh, I paid like three hundred or more. Is it reseller tickets? Or worse. Because it stands as a symbol of Hyrule's dark history, it is taboo for the royal family to speak of this temple and its horrific purpose. Now, this is pretty much the only time in the game that we are shown any indication that, hey. Hyrule might also do some evil deeds. And even if you don't have access ben. to the Zelda encyclopedia, shortly after entering the okay, temple... Okay, reseller. Okay, fair enough. Shadow Temple. 
Here is I know that the, bloody history of greed the general future. admission from Coachella website says $500 plus fees. Says, yeah, but that's just for Coachella. Coachella is known to be fucking expensive. It's where all the celebrities goes. And it's a festival. So there are a lot of artists. Yeah, it's a not just Miku. I like going to festivals. They They are more expensive, but it's more of a... It's more of a vibe to and hang out over just listening to this one artist that you like and then leaving. Temple is that it's used as a sort of lightning rod for darkness. By focusing all of the evil and despair in Hyrule here, it won't bother the rest of the land. This is similar to the story The Ones Who Walk Away from Omelas. The one in Boston the is 115 the cheapest? The Jesus Christ! But the entire I think the VIP tickets are like double, like 120, darkness and misery. 130. Once every person living in an Omelas comes of age, they have to go witness the child and know that everything they have enjoyed thus far is due to this one child suffering. Oh yeah, this is insane. Like, where, where the fuck did they explain this? Yeah, it's this video that I watched. Oh, this is from a book. And despair in Hyrule here, it won't bother the rest of the land. This is similar to the story, The Ones Who Walk Away From Omelas, which tells the story about a utopia. The people there are happy, but the entire thing is built upon one child who is suffering in unimaginable darkness and misery. Once every person living in an Omelas comes of age, they have to go witness the child and know that everything they have enjoyed thus far is due to this one child suffering. Then they are given the choice. Continue living in Omelas and know that they are benefiting from this child's pain, or leave their seemingly perfect life behind. But know that they'll have a clean conscience. In the story, many- I like that. What would you guys do? <laughs> that story seems really interesting. It seems pretty conflicting and seems to be like, how good is the life really? It is a difficult choice, yeah. Should you just not give a fuck? Like, did this child sacrifice themselves for us, or...? I don't even know that kid. Yeah, but it's just knowing that there's someone suffering for your life enjoyment, I guess. I'd invite the child. Can we just take him? <laughs> like, leave, help him? People end up staying. I mean, leaving won't help them either, but yeah. Or justifying it by believing that they're putting the needs of the many over the needs of the few. Now, do I think that's what's going on here? No, but it's a hell of a story, isn't it? More likely, the Shadow Temple is a trading ground for the Sheikah, who serve as agents and spies of Hyrule, allowing them to train their sneaky. Why would you want that? Darkness. Take the child but spot? It also serves as a prison for anyone the Sheikah have targeted while working for the Hyrule royal family. It's hard to miss the incredible amount of torture devices in the temple. Come on down to the Torture Device Emporium! We got your smooshers! We got your smashers! A fan of French cuisine? Well, we got a guillotine! <laughs> and, not for the faint of heart, we've got a salt tire. Prop your enemies up on that, and skin them alive! What the fuck? People really did Actually, this. it's important to note that this is the only dungeon in the game that I think the definitive version is in the original release. As we discussed in the Fire Temple video, you do have to find a- Would it be easier if someone sacrifices to suffer so everyone keeps living? Yeah, but is it the child's choice? That makes you wonder, right? If someone willingly sacrificed themselves so everyone could be happy, then it's like, okay, well, thank you, you know? <laughs> I'm go definitely gonna keep benefiting so your sacrifice wasn't for nothing. Rare 1.0 version of the game. But there were patches of blood in various places in the temple, and these were unfortunately removed in subsequent versions. And in the remaster for the 3DS, the textures of the floor and walls I'm were altered, a so instead of Link literally walking on the skulls of what one has to assume is just thousands of people, a la the Catacombs of Paris or the Capuchin Crypt in Rome, you get mud with some bones. A bit more realistic, but not as visually striking in my opinion. Also, the changes to the mini boss Dead Hand are extremely disappointing. Or kind of cookie? Of these bloody it's like hands a cookie that some with have interpreted as tiny like blades, a butter cookie with like syrup in the middle. It's not a strobe waffle. And I don't know what they've been using for their skin, but they look pearlescent and not in a good it's way. It's more of a cookie texture. One thing I will praise about <laughs> the redesign to the Shadow Temple is the fairy ride at the end. Instead of a generic crow, which is often associated with death, we do get this pretty rad skeleton with a red shawl holding the bells. This is a bit of an obvious reference to Karen, the ferryman on the river Styx in Greek. The shadow 
The Shadow Temple is when I uh, stop playing Ocarina of Time as a kid because it was too scary for me. <laughs> Mythology. And we can see ghosts floating by us as we take the ride. This was a good use of the increased power that the 3DS had, and actually adds to the temple. Another great addition in the 3DS is the eyes on Bongo Bongo's drum. Keeping look at me now. <laughs> of eyes. If I could, I'd cherry pick these design choices back into the original, but as it stands, I like the OG version just a little bit more. Even if you do have to spend an extra 30 minutes taking your boots on and off again. Uh, that was a that sure was a All thing. Right, that's enough for my analysis on the temple's architecture. Let's talk about the music. I got soft locked here once in Master Quest. Wait, how? Complex in the game. There are four parts to it, and arguably more if you break them up further. First, let's start with the bongos. That's a reference to Bongo Bongo, who this is, is the boss. This is probably part of the music, mostly for what it does thematically. The final boss of the dungeon is the dark spirit Bongo Bongo, which, true to his name, plays the drums. And throughout the entire dungeon's theme, you hear this drum beat in the background, keeping you company the whole way until you reach his lair. And if we I don't know, I just had less keys than needed, couldn't get any more? Oh, what the heck? He loves using samples. And hey, this is the sample he used for this track. It's... <laughs> I like that, that, like, how he finds all these freaking samples. Like, they're really old, but damn. It's a reference to Donkey Konga, where Donkey Kong plays the bongos. Holy shit, Next it was a reference to the game, GameCube game already. ...dueling, chanting voices. This is easily the most striking part of the song. You have two voices, one with a very low pitch and one much higher. Now, both of these do -do 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 -do. were done using a synth, but made to sound like actual chanting. However, both of them sound so unnatural, they're not quite human. And I don't think this was due to a limitation of hardware, either. I think it was intentional. The lower of these two voices... Reminds me, like, the, um, the Area Zero soundtrack. Used to say, used to choir. But it's all... It's digital, too. That's pretty insane. <laughs> certainly claim sounds like a demon. <laughs> you okay? What the fuck is this footage? Contrasting with this is the higher pitched voice. Lazy Titan, thank you for following. The stark contrast to the demonic voice gives me strong vibes of an angel. Granted, this angel uh, should sound quite no happy. Way. In fact, I'd argue the way a lot of the angel's voice drops in pitch at the end makes this singing sound rather melancholy. These two voices together add a great sense of unease to the dungeon. Welcome! Next, we have these <laughs> strings that fade in and out. It's like and this instrument that they use for, like, spiders walking around, right? Not to go super into it, but the harpsichord is kind of like the prequel to the piano. You don't have to read it, but it has great moments of character development. The harpsichord hits 16th notes, rising in only half steps four times, before doing a trickling back. Ooh. Half steps are extremely dissonant and not super pleasant to the human ear, adding more to the listener's discomfort. The final section that makes up the Shadow Temple's theme is a lot Just less reminds me again of the freaking piano theme that plays in that before. house flash game. They are effectively just unsettling noises dispersed in the midst of the song. First, we have what I'm going to call a hot air escaping sound, mostly because, as we discussed in the Fire Temple video, this sound was featured in later versions of that temple's theme. <laughs> Plan. So for some reason, it's hard for me to not associate Excuse it me. with the Fire Temple, since that's the first one you play. Okay. And when I heard it in the Fire Temple, I always assumed it was a pocket of hot air bursting through a crack in a rock. Man, Link's jump is so weird. I'm gonna look at it. Why is his leg so wide? Next, you have a dripping of water sound. I don't have much to- Anyway, yeah. For some reason, I went and checked the Mario 64. Oh! Holy shit! Oh! You get that? What the <laughs> fuck? I'm fucking dead, bro.
Holy shit. <laughs> Stop! Where are you going? More of this. Ow. <laughs> Holy shit, thank you so much. What the fuck? Holy shit! That's a lot of bits, holy. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! What the heck? Thank you so much for the 10,000 bits, rap. <laughs> Everyone's I say bitch. Bits. <laughs> Rebel. <laughs> hey, Corin. Corin came to check up on me. <laughs> hey, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> 10,000 bit. Thank you for the 10,000 bitches. <laughs> uh, can you like not be in front of the camera? Corinne checking up on his concussed mother. How many fingers are we showing? I don't know. Can I get one? Uh, no. All from me. Hey. You licking me? Thank you. Dude. I have to like look over him. <laughs> Corin, please move. <laughs> I'm okay. You can leave now. Go take a nap. He keeps licking me. Bro. Okay. Thank you. Ow! He bit me! I like how bo both of them were, like, modded. <laughs> Lick him back, bite him back. <laughs> Wait, I just allowed, like, bite him. Why is it still held? I don't want to bite him. He has, like, a lot of hair. <laughs> Sometimes I do blow raspberries on him and he gets pissed. <laughs> he hates that. <laughs> Why are you spitting on me, mother? Okay, come on. Move out of the way. Time. It's been good. Turn around. Go again. Move. Okay. Well, he moved out of the way of the camera, at least. Yeah, you're a good boy. It's spoopy. Maybe that's what this sounds it's like. Spoopy. No, okay, it's spoopy! Okay, thank not. you- again. Thank you so much for the bits. Holy shit. And then I went to listen to the Bowser- Thank you. <laughs> that's insane. Now, this is a stretch, but I definitely believe that Koji Kondo, who also designed the music for Mario 64, could have been inspired by this laugh. Either way, this is extremely unsettling. <laughs> but nothing even compares to the sound that comes shortly before the song repeats the intro. We hear something. Corin, you should leave, or I'm gonna louder, lock you into the Shadow Temple. Us before suddenly fading away. Wildly enough, this is extremely similar to the sound of the Do you see? He's looking at the game. He's looking at Link. it. That's where you're gonna go. You're gonna get guillotined. This is almost certainly on purpose, as it can easily trick the player into thinking there is a sudden sense of danger, making their mind feel fear. Much like Link, traversing the Shadow Temple probably feels himself. All of these this additional sounds so keep the player off base. In... Honestly, it's almost like a noise track. 
crumbles. By having all of these sudden outbursts <laughs> interspersed with the rhythm of the bongos and the melody of the dueling voices, it adds to the discomfort you get while delving into the Shadow Temple. And there you have it. Just like the Water Temple video, I definitely have much more appreciation for this temple after doing the research. I wish someone would love me in the Shadow Temple. I, actually really like the design I would die. Itself. It feels I don't have the, 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 the floaty, slippery shoes. It's fairly linear, and the rooms off to the side can all be justified. And yeah, it's really unnerving, which is dope. But hey, we're almost done with our run-through of Ocarina of Time's temples. There's only one more to go, which coincidentally... Oh yeah, isn't the spirit temple... Isn't the one where they changed all the chanting? Or was that the fire temple? It was the fire temple. Why does yonder dev keep jump scaring me? Yeah, they changed the music on like later versions of Ocarina of Time. It's a sign to play Yonder Sim. I think that would explode my PC. But have you heard of the... <laughs> Go back here every time. One of the temples used mushroom prayer or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, yeah. I think that was the fire temple. It's still so good. I will watch it again. Blow up so much. Corin is getting pissed, like his tail is uh... There was one that was actually made in like the sound font. Was it this one? Or is this? I'm gonna use this on my BRB screen, I think. Corin, I can't fucking see! But yeah, this one used the, the Muslim chanting, I think. Yeah, it's a fire temple. Oh, 
But was it actually that? They probably just used some kind of sample that they had on a CD. Like it ha how it went back then. <laughs> but this is also the, the version where Ganon had red blood. The, uh, uh, I know that they changed it. It was like it was green later on. I didn't know that was a thing. I, th I thought it was maybe only like... Japanese version or something. It's called a road, it's called a rainbow road. It is a road that you go. It's called a road, it's called a rainbow road. And you will know when you get there. It's called a road. It's a road that you go. It's a road that you go. When, when you, you die. die. <laughs> it's a road called Rainbow Road. It's a road we're all gonna go. It's a road called Rainbow Road. It's got Princess Peach Mario and the Toad. It's a road and the Rainbow toad. Road. It's a road we're all gonna go. We'll go. It's Rainbow Road. It's where you go. When you die, it's Rainbow Road. Okay. Come. Move. It's rainbow Move, road. Corrine. It's where you, go. you can't be when on the desk. Die, it's rainbow road. I'll miss you again. Go. Rainbow road. Move. Move. Okay. Yeah, you. I'm gonna get a drink. Okay. Uh, let's play the single game. You're bigger than the cat? Just pick- I can pick him up, but... <laughs> when I'm sitting down... <laughs> he won't- he will... Not move out of the way. Anyway, he moved when I, when I got up, because he always follows me everywhere. So if I'm streaming, he needs to be at the computer. Just want him to move out of the way on his own. And he always gets pissed when I pick him up when he doesn't want to. He already bit me. <laughs> That doesn't... He just sits in front of the monitor. He doesn't really touch... He tries to avoid the keyboard. There is a game. Yeah, we're gonna play something really, really scary. An education game. <laughs> Lear the Japanese learning game? I don't know. I am, like, absolute beginner. Uh, so we're gonna see how that goes. Like, all my knowledge from, uh, from Japanese, I know from anime. I am one of those weeps. Ooh, ooh, are we got things? So I, I never really gave it a proper go to actually learn. <laughs> so we're gonna see how good this game is from a pure beginner standpoint. Yes, Nihongo Jozu. Baka Gaijin. <laughs> I hope everything will be daijo okay, or else you'll have the Yamatekuda stuff. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna double check stream elements real quick. It's called a road, it's called a rainbow road. Okay, two. 
It is the road that you go. Oh, is this another? Uh, what's it called? Analog horror series? It is a world where you go when you die. You should all listen to this song. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is a road that you go. Uh. I got it stuck in my head. What the fuck does that even mean, I bought? She shush. Uh, YouTube chat. All right. <clears throat> Pop up translations now available. <laughs> Eat a ducky mess. <laughs> uh, yeah, there was this, like... I remember hearing some weird list. Let me see if I can find it real quick. I remember sending it to someone. Nanda's car? Yeah, it was from that one! It's when you say it out loud, it kinda... On a guy she mess. <laughs> Ellie got to <laughs> Kon Nichi wa Kole on a guy she must Ikura this car Sugo a Kaw Kaw a e Kile Oi she Task Kitty I'm speaking in Japanese. It's this. Let's enjoy Japanese. Ohio. <laughs> Ichi ni san she go lock. Hitch hutch. Hatch. Kyuju. <laughs> <clears throat> Task Kitty uh, 
I got pretty close to it. Ooh. What the fuck? <laughs> this isn't as good. Japanese words or phrases. Keeping this one as a reference. <clears throat> task kitty. <laughs> it's like task or task kitty. My favorite number is she. All right. Is this a setting that I have to go through? Gameplay. Uh. No. Uh. Bless you. Thank you. Welcome to the single. Here you'll use your camera to create unique photo flashcards for learning Japanese. You're free to explore your surroundings and study at your own pace without any pressure. Besides you learning new vocabulary with your camera, you also come across Japanese text in various places while exploring. Wow, it's like we really are in Japan. Interacting with text will allow you to view the original Japanese text along with the translation. Open up your camera when you're ready so you can learn how to use it. I remember there is this, uh, there is this game that's probably better for learning Japanese. It's like this RPG maker learning Japanese RPG. I want to go in here. Operating the camera. Is easy and there are only a few buttons to remember. To take a photo, simply frame your subject by adjusting your position, angle, and zoom. Wow, it's just like real life. For more creative results, you can swap between filters that you have already unlocked. It looks like your camera already came with a grayscale filter and a saturated filter. Give them a try. While not mandatory, holding the shutter button allows you to lock onto a subject so you can adjust the composition even more freely. Releasing the shutter button will then take the picture. Your subject needs to fill in a good portion of the frame to be recognized by the camera. As long as the viewfinder displays question mark or a Japanese word, you can freely take a photo. Try using the zoom to fill the frame. Is it hailing or raining? It's kind of cozy, this game. Wait, how do I leave the camera? Okay, right click. <gasps> oh my god! Neko! Neko. <laughs> nice photo. Why does it look so scary? <laughs> You just made your first photo flashcard. As you can see, the subject of the road photo is written on... Uh, ...is written on it in Japanese along with the translation. Flipping it will also reveal additional related vocabulary. If you like, you can even swap the photo's borders to a different design. Or you can just keep a classic look. More of these can be unlocked. Saving and discarding, you can take a bad photo, you can discard it and try again until you take one that you're happy with. Taking a photo of a word you already have in your photo album will instead give you the option to override it. Okay. Okay. Why is it so creepy? Neko. We should keep the first one, right? <gasps> oh my god, a border. Should keep the first one. Okay, but I want the text to not be Japanese. 
I thought that was an option. Oh, here we go. Will really be a statue? So, so where you go, youngest? So. I've been here, I was like accurate. Sort of. There's not enough people around here for this, for this to be the actual station. And this is where all the big screens are. Wait, this is this should be where the crossing is, right? This is a fake fake recreation. Kuruma. Yeah. Testing your memory. Find spot... Find what puts your memory to the test. You'll reinforce your vocabulary knowledge. You'll be given one of the Japanese words from your photo flashcards and get tasked with photographing it in the game world. Okay. It's gonna be a freaking test? Wait, did I get run over? We bike. Let's bike. Jitensha. Jitensha. I feel like this game is only actually useful if you already know how to read like the symbols. So it's more of a memorization unique as to how to learn or like like, you, if you can read it correctly with some simple words. Sankakukon. Kon. Sankakukon. Or is there any merit into learning these random words? Camera. That's too hard. It would be useful if we could have both the Japanese text and the Romaji like, there. So you can at least see what they look like. And you might start recognizing them. Translations. <laughs> camera means camera. Kejiban. Kejiban. Hey yo, we gotta find a Shingoki so we can cross the road. Boshi. I wanna go into the stores. One of the best quality outfits for winter preparation. Fuyu jitaku ni wa saiko. Saiko! Hin. Hin Buboshi doroku. Yo, vending machine. Jido <laughs> hanbaiki. Oh, close enough. <laughs> Jinja. Bakery? What is an onion? 
Onion bread. Kongari to kara meru iru iru ni yak yakiageta onion pun. <laughs> Yo bread. Pang pang. So when people say they are pansexual, they are just horny for bread? It's so cute! Wait, I can take a photo of, like, the stand? Table. Oh. <laughs> Table. <laughs> There's... A... Yeah, is it, like, pans or puns? Let me in, I'll let me buy the bread. Mama, mommy, Mama, Maria. Hanman. Mama Mia. Here we go again. Oh, it's already day again. Mama. Seven eleven. Combini. Okay, oh. Skateboard. Skateboard. Okay, that makes sense. Skateboard. Osake. Tobacco. Casa. Casa di mama. Belengo, thank you for following. I want to go in. Let me in. Meat. Show you. Show you. Niku. Mmm. Cow. Momoka. Tamago no ham by something with egg. We have also started selling eggs. Ah. Suitcase. Is that a Toho reference? <laughs> Can I take a the pa passport only? Passport. <laughs> passport. A passport. <laughs> See, Japanese is so easy. Bro left his password outside. Suika. Yo! Water... Is that a watermelon game reference? Hit me. Oh! Oh. Ringo. Are these also Ringo? Ringo. Okay. Mikan. Mikan. Ninjin Daikon Suika Yeah, Square Suika Saber Wolf, hi, welcome Egg Tamago Candy Okashi Okashi. Okashi. Oh, they're all sweets. TP! Toilet paper. What about the basket? Kaimono kago. Aha! I'm asserting my dominance. Cho! Shitsugaiki. Shitsugaiki. Outdoor air conditioning unit. Oh, holy shit. Shitsugaiki. Just like box. 
Dumb border buckle. They're just like... I have to be polite. Shokubutsu. Shokubutsu. Let's bike again. This is a nicer bike photo. Jitensha. Yes. <gasps> ah, so cute! <gasps> Inu. It's so cute! Can't take a photo of this. Inu. Yes. Smaho. Smaho. I love him. Her. I love the dog. Zashi. Nomimono. Nomimono. Can you take a photo of just the color? No. Oh, we can play? Gacha, gacha. Sticker? Sticker. Sticker. Of course. Lamb or ice cream? Okay. It does detect it as ice cream. I mean, it's easy to use, right? You don't need a... You don't need to buy the artwork. Can I get a... A coffee? Coffee. Menu. Mm-hmm. Joro. Joro. Ice coffee, yon hyaku yen. Ice coffee, 400 yen. Man, they're open. For a while. Students get 50% of... Mini beanie. You know, like, like, smoke? Steam? Kankiko. Ah. <laughs> Yakuza. <laughs> Maybe... That would be a neat Easter egg. Can't go here. Let me in. Shiro. Oh, okay. What about build the buildings? No. Tree. No. I'm gonna go in Japan. I'm just gonna point at random things. Key! <laughs> Ice cream! <laughs> Good job, Yuri. Yeah, you know the words. Yes! Trash bin! Gomibako. Oh, almost. Being chilling. Manhole. Manhole. Okay. I don't even know what that is in English. Lamp. Take a photo of the lamp. Gaito. Gaito. Manhole. Etchi. 
Manga. <laughs> Hentai. Are these all manga? Zashi. I already took photo. This is better though. Yeah, it's because this one has a dog. Gotcha, gotcha. Game. Game. Noto Pasocon. Noto Pasocon? What? I never knew. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Game. Yo, they have this game. I like looking at the, the small details. <laughs> Microwave. Denshi Renji. Denshi Renji? I see. Denshi Renji. Denshi Renji. Denshi Renji. Denshi Renji. I see. Sora. Oh, that's not the sky. <laughs> that... The sun? Taiyo. Okay. This is blue. I say red, you say blue. Denji, Denji. It sounds like Denji, right? Eiga poster. Iri Gucci. Ah, I was hoping stairs, maybe. Fusen. Fusen. Maido Cafe. Maido. Hobby Shop. Mm -hmm, makes sense, makes sense. More crane games, arcade. <clears throat> shutter. Ah, shutters. Good in the game. Genkan Mato. Okay, okay, let's get a nicer picture. Genkan Mato. Bottle crate. Chowchin. Chowchin. Tabemono. This food. Why, why does everyone leave their phone out here? Table. This one's better for table. What about chair? Oh, stool. Okay. No, 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 no. What about the bag? Okay, okay. Kaban. Shata. Banana. Dumbbell box. Yes. Wait, let me check a nice. I want a nicer photo. Dumbbell 
That's that's a raccoon. Then who's this who's this suicidal person? Egakan. Ah. Karaoke. <laughs> this is just a building. <laughs> Here we go. Karaoke. This is with the karaoke sign at least. Baby shop. Game center. Oh, I see. Like this. Game center. What is just like apartment building? Okay. Okay. Oh. Who's gonna walk around with the camera open? Thank you. Oh. I recommend this movie theater. Or rain. Can I take a photo of the mountain? Yama. Yes, Yama. Ramen ya. Ya. What's this? Shoe store. Yeah. Good sir, ya. Shoes. Oh my god, shoes. These are cute. I want these. These. I would buy those. So. Oh, cat cafe upstairs. I don't have a word for that one. Baby days. Shokubutsu. So. Yeah, I like that one nicer. What is trash? Trash. Gomi. Gom. It's a uh, clothes. T shirts. T. Okay, makes sense. Skirts. Scato. Pinku no sukato ahana no yami kazari zuteka. Yakyoku. Wait, what? Ah. Yakyoku. Yakyoku. Elevator? Elevator. Elevator. Hana. Lamp. Okay, okay. Those are pretty easy words. How about like display? Panya. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, I need to take the photos of the buildings. What's this one then? Advertisement. Oops. Kanban. Anything here? Wow, I can go in here. Stairs. No. Okay, so we still have some things left. Traffic. There was a question mark just now. Pa 
I put. Aha! This is just going to turn into a hide and seek kind of game. What did I point it at? Where did. That made it a question mark. Hotel. Oh! Wait, where is the hotel? This is the hotel. I see, I see. Hotel. Pass me the pipe, homie. Toro. <laughs> uh huh. Fence. Saku. Saku. Mm. Glasses. Glasses. Megane. Megane. I knew I knew that. A uh, parking spot? Parking lot? Chu Shajo. Chu Shasho. Chu Shajo. Chu Shajo. Air vent. I don't know what that was in Japanese again. Seisanki. Seisanki. Fair adjustment machine. Oh. Brick? Why can't I take a photo of the brick? Sick. Ah, uh, here's you can see better that it's a hotel. 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 Shokubutsu. Butcher. Seinikuten. Seinikuten. Room? Hoki. Hoki. Supermarket? Super. Super. Hundred. Hundred photos. Cherry Blossom Festival. Kawa. Kawa. Like a nicer photo. Kawa. Yeah. Sakura. Ah. Show a question mark. Uekomi. Oh, hedge. I can take a photo of this. Here we go. <laughs> Bagu! Food ball. Food ball. Food ball. Avocado. Coffee. Oh, cafe. Avocado store. Coffee. Okay, was this then? Matia. Ah. Matia. Oh, there's food here. Didn't even see that. I want good food now. <gasps> A black. Neko. Honestly, the cats in this game are creepy. <laughs> ah! 
Nickel. Post box? Yubinuke. Yubinuke. Okay, so... But it doesn't say anything about dogs, right? Like, is it just, like, animals? Like, what does every war mean here? Dog for a blind person. Oh, then what the fuck is this translation? Petokinsi. That makes sense, right? Smoking prohibited. What do you gotta do about it? <laughs> I can't take a photo. <laughs> it's a different reading. Oh, great. Calling the popo. <laughs> Posto. Posto. Tonkatsu ramen and pork broth. Oh, it's the same. Iriguchi entrance. Socks? Kutsushita. 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 I really feel like I need to learn some, like read, learn to read before I get anything out of this. Because now it's just gonna be remembering words mostly, right? Like, oh, this is that, this is that, and uh, this is a uh, uekomi, this is a uh, key, this is a uh, tishatsu, kokoku, boshi. <laughs> Let me out. Uh, let me out of here. Anyone? Anyone, let me out of here. I can't leave. I'm trapped. Can you unlock this? Like a new area? Okay, so now, what's this do? We can listen to the audio again. Oh, wait, Zoe was statue. Oh, and now we have to make a picture of the thing that it, that it says. I'm gonna be cheating if chat's here. I'm gonna ask you. The zoo. <laughs> Oh. Is it just gonna ask, like, things I took photos of at the start? It's a car, right? Okay. <laughs> Yay! Oh, you learn, you earn coins. Keep on exploring and making unique photo flashcards to study with. Just don't forget to return to five mode when you want to practice what you've learned and earn some coins to spend on new filters. Ah! Yeah, this is, this is a game. <laughs> okay, where can I spend the filters? Oh, I mean... In the menu? Oh, 
I wonder what I haven't taken a photo of. Oh, the fridge! Reizoko. Reizoko. Odan Hodo. Odan Ho... Odan Hodo. Hodor. Hodor. Oh, there's way more. Oh, there's 30 pages. Is that the max? Or is it just because I haven't... Ah, oh, there's still stuff that I missed. Map? Shizu. Shizu. Benchi. Benchi. Like a bus stop? Maybe? Bus day. Bus day. Happy bus day to you, you. Gita. Gita. Happy bus day to you, you. Ink. That's... Oh. Honya. Honya. Wait, wait, wait. Let me take a better photo. Book off! <laughs> I can't believe simply like apartment building isn't a thing. Ah! Biru. Oh my god, cat, you're gonna die. Neko. I swear, these cats are evil. <gasps> Fish! Sakana. Ooh. Wait, where was the bear? It's in the little things, you know, the little details. Already have Sakura. What about that? Oh, that's new. Sta. Sta. What is Freddy Fazbear in Japanese? Freddy Fazbear. Okay, no, it just opens more pages. Saku. What's Saku? Offense. Tagami Ibi Nuki Nuke. Oh, maybe... Oh, I thought maybe you're the parking spot. But no. Parking lot, we already took a photo of that, I guess. Oh! Coldy! Construction! Ah! Ah, it's graffiti. Not even a raccoon. Why can't I take a photo of the brick? It is an object that I desire to photograph. Oh, mini. Oh? Oh, Tori. Wait, wait, wait. Better photo. Tori. Yuria, no, because it's a raccoon, not the red panda. Jido Han Baiki. Tanya. 
That's so cute. What a cute sounding word for a freaky bakery. Ah. Ah, excuse me. What does it say? Kunai Doro Kuenai Kitsu and Kinchi. Smoking on the roads and in parks in the district is prohibited. Violators are subject to a fine up to 10,000 yen. Ihan Shawa Ichiman and Ika no Kayo no Taisho to Narimas. Oh, maybe the moon. Oh my god, a plane! A bitch! That's not a. <sighs> oh my god. Ski. <gasps> oh! Hikoki. <laughs> Hikoki. <laughs> It just says Sora, not stars. But that was a good one. Like, what stairs? Just Aki, a station. Benchy. Is this what you call bench? Rakugaki. Exit 8. We're gonna... If we're ever gonna walk outside of the map, it's gonna reload again, and there's gonna be a slight difference. <laughs> like the... the karaoke... and the... hubby shuppu... have been, uh... replaced. Or swapped. Kimu Center. Oh, oh? Truck. Oh, truck. Truck. Man, that's kind of a bad reference if you're only seeing it from the back. Izakaya. Ah, Izakaya. Izakaya. <laughs> Let me in. Sambiaku ni jihachi and zaiko ni sambiaku roku juen. Okay. Ea... Ea Smile Street. I like that. <gasps> oh my god. I can go up here. Fuck, I can't go up here. Man. Mm, Suki. Nui Gurumi. This is a better photo. Figua. Figua. Zenkai Kyoku. And Wanda Pureo. Yeah, it, 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 it feels like you can go in somewhere, maybe. But this, this, this doesn't mean no. Man, they sell the rainbow grilled cheese. I want some grilled cheese. Actually, no, I want ramen.
I should have taken a little test in between. Skateboard! Skateboard! We gotta find one first. Uh, there was one over there. Camera. <gasps> I know this one. Camera. I know that's a really hard one to remember, but I got it. I got it. Here you go. Here's one. <laughs> What's up? Okay, it's definitely kind of doing it in... Like the order you took the photos. Kanban. It was like the... It was not an ad, this was a Kanban. Boshi. Boshi the rock. Uh. Is it here? Oh. Jinja. Jinja. Ninja. What was that actually again? The temple thing? It's a ginger. Okay, okay. Hen. Hen. Breb. Shingoki. Um. The lights. Wait, so if pun is bread, what's pun? I don't know. <laughs> Cooking <-a> pun. <laughs> Cagey bang. Wasn't that the Cagey oh. bang? I'm really curious. What a Pun. Pen. Japanese. <laughs> Pen. But he just gives it to you in Japanese. <laughs> I can't read that. Oh, here. If I just type it in with, like, letters, then I can't find it. Furai pen for frying pen tepon? We're learning together. I forgot what KEG bot is. Was it like an ad? Oh, it's this! Kombini. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Kombini. But preferably you want it the other way around, right? Like that's harder. If you have it in English and then say like 
convenience store. But if you're just... But that doesn't make it good gameplay-wise. Because then you just know... Convenience store. There would be just regular as translating. <laughs> but that would be harder, I think, than the other way around. Or better to learn? I don't know. So is there more to the game? Oh, this is nice. Should I just maybe have it in uh like this? Maybe start learning finally. Well finally. I don't know. I never saw the stretch, thank you. Ooh. <laughs> just do this again. Let's focus. Random? Oh. Weak? Favorites. Mastered. Oh, you can put that stuff in categories. Posto. Poster? Mail? Or is it just... The post box? <laughs> it's something related to that. Okay, okay. Oh. It's just one. <laughs> oh, here we go. Sixty-six! How many photos did we take? Uh... Okay. That makes... Okay, it's way more. Uh, or... Oh, we already took over 200 photos. 200... 260... Two! Right? Yeah. Damn. Okay. Hundred thirty. Start. Guitar. Guitar. Camera. Ca camera. Is there maybe one here? We had the electronic shops. I don't want to keep walking around. No. <laughs> Why can't we take a picture of our own? I don't know. No mimono. Was drink? Uh, can I take a photo of the drink inside of the vending machine, or does it take a photo of the whole vending machine? Benchi. Okay, there we go. We're good. Bench. Toilet paper. TP. Toilet paper. I'm not so much interested in learning to read as opposed to maybe learning to speak. 
But I understand that it, you know, it, it it's just one package. Suika. Suika game. Pipe. 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 You guys remember what I put, what piping pipeu means in Ilurian? Suki. Suki, what is that again? Oh, wait, that was, uh... The moon, right? Uh... Figure. Figure... I should probably, if I want... I should probably just take... Play that dead RPG game. Everyone says that's that's a good way to learn. Ninjin. Ninjin. Uh. I don't know what that is again. Jordan, hi, welcome. Ninjin loves you. Ninja. I remember taking a photo of it. But I forgot what it means. Is it, is it another, uh... Fruit? Or veggie? <laughs> I really still have to turn on the Twitch ones. Eat, play, ACM, thank you so much for the raid! Welcome! Yes! That was the bar. How was your stream? Welcome, everybody. Uh, let me cross earlier. E. E. There we go. Jinja. Jinja. Another word that sounds like that. Uh, oh, it's the freaking temple thing again. I just had that one too. I don't know if I will remember these in the long run. I just know some sort of like, oh, pawn. And something with pawn was also bakery. <laughs> pawn. Panama. T-shirts. Oh, there's an apple. Oh, thank you. T-shirts. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Kaylel, thank you so much for the prime resub. Thank you for the five months. Appreciate it. Uh... Kaimono Kago. I forgot. What is it? Is it... This place? Probably not. You don't have to say it again. I, it's not like it, you're repeating it. it. will make me remember. Is it the shopping cart? Oh, it is! 
earn 30 points by your first gacha. Oh my god. Gummy. Uh, I forgot what that's too. Uh, uh. Is it the bush thing? Jitensha. Oh. Bike. That was one of the first thing things I took a photo of. Why the sad? Terebi. TV. Terebi. Tele television. That is absolutely terribly. <laughs> Shutter. Shutter. Is there one here? Shata. Where were the shutters? Is there one around here? Here. Karaoke. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Gacha gacha. This is the casa. I said that last time too. Sorry, sorry, you gotta wait for me. What does it mean again, though? <laughs> I just remember what I. Said Casa Sukasa M. Casa Brilla Cococo. Oh, Cococo. What's insurance fraud in Japanese? Let me know in the comments down below. Kokoku! I forgot that too! This is Daikon. I forgot what this one is, but if I read it, it's like, oh, it's that. Kokoku. How can I commit insurance fraud if I don't even know the word? That's true. Kokoku. Uh, sir, what's Kokoku? Kokoku. Is it this one, this one, this one? No. Oh, it's the ad. Does this count? Game. Okay, okay. Kimo. Wasn't it Umbrella? No, that was the one before that. The Casa was Umbrella. <laughs> Game. Kagami. Glasses. Where were the glasses in this game again? I found one pair of glasses. It was like on the 
Is there one of these? It was somewhere. Not here? Here, have glasses, boy. Glasses. I'm on the hunt for glasses. Dude, my lips are so dry. <gasps> Here! Glasses! Kagami. Oh no, it was mirror! Megane. Yeah, yeah, it was mirror. I forgot, I swapped it. Where the fuck is our mirror? I got me in rain. Ah. Table. 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 The weird bread thing counted as a table. Daikon. I still have a daikon in my fridge. What's it good with? Can you eat it raw? I, uh... I used it for kimchi. But I still have about half left. Is it good in, like, a stir-fry? Like, if you, uh... Fry it, obviously? Give me some daikon recipes in the comments. Hikoki. Hikoki. Oh, what's that again? Please help, there's been a woman running around taking photos of things for several days straight. What is she doing? She's learning Japanese! <laughs> I hope Chad's learning something too. Is it maybe this? No, it's not. <laughs> Sir, what does hikoki mean? Hikoki. Or air vent. Hikoki. What the fuck? I don't know. Camera waterproof? It seems like it. It was airplane. He called me. Game center. <sighs> Fusen. Fusen. What is that again? Fusen. Fuse box.
She doesn't know. She doesn't know. Fusion. Let me look at my... Okane. Oh, shit. Oh, thank you. Oh, tapish skip. Seven months with your yeah, they go. Oh, oh. <gasps> Spayard, thank you for the seven months. Welcome, welcome. Appreciate the support, man. Do you know what Fusen means? Balloon? Oh, I can't take a picture of it anymore because I pre accidentally pressed skip. I oh, will have a look at it later. Is money. It's not about the money, money, money. We don't need the money, money, money. We just want to make the world and forget about the price tag. We in the butter. Mm. Da ding, da ding, da ding. <laughs> uh, where is money? <laughs> where, where? Oh, the dog. Have money. Kanban. Kanban. It's like, who the fuck is walking around like that on the street shaking their head? Kanban. Uh. Oh, that was the, the ad thing. Okay. We already had that one. This is not count. Yeah. Hotel. Seems like insurance fraud is Hokenkinsagi for those who want to commit it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hana. Hana. Eki. 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 I remember because kutsu means cunt. But that's not what it means in Japanese. <laughs> Shoo. <laughs> Oshirase. Oshirase. This one last time too. Oh. Or was it the same?
We're gonna look at the... Oh, wait! Was it that? I wanted to look up that other learn Japanese game. Oh, yo, I don't know what this means either. Uh, yo, there's an entire Steam curator list for learning Japanese. Why is Nekopara here? Phantom Trigger... Corona Blossom... These are just visual novels! These are not educational games. These are just games that have English and Japanese at the same time. Mystery dungeon? This is not what I... Yakuza? <laughs> okay, this is uh, the... like like is is something like this or duolingo even useful because this will be just me going in japan going like oh eki idoko to a random japanese person then they will point oh over there like oh thank you arigate <laughs> I guess that that is a little bit useful, but <laughs> is it good? Is it useful for both beginners and intermediate learners? Is it engaging? 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 My Japanese studies have taught me I could only have two. You know what? It would have been a cool game to have a mobile and it would be like detecting like what you're taking a photo of IRL. Like it would task you like, oh, take a photo of like a sign or whatever of a camera. Then you have to find one IRL. <laughs> take a photo of it. Or it would be like a translation app, I guess. You take a photo of a camera and it would say it in Japanese again. It's pro- it complements it, true. When I was first learning English in school, I first learned vocabulary, true. When I was learning English in school... There was very much... Like, obviously an emphasis on like, how the grammar works and the... Uh, structure of the sentences. But I could never really follow those classes because I was able to learn English through video games in the same way that I learned English, to be honest. Because I was just there very early and video games weren't translated. Can I pause me? Now? 
I feel like this is more for learning how to read. Which I don't know. I don't know how to read. <laughs> and now for me, this is more... Uh... Learning random words. Can I end this? Okay, okay, okay. I want to buy gacha since I have enough coins for that now. Okay. Yay. <laughs> I guess there's not much you can add to the game. <laughs> Give me some peace and quiet. I guess it's very similar to the real Japan where there is noises everywhere. What about that? It's like a... Yes! Mon! Mon! Yeah, I like that. Hashi. Ah, bridge. Ah. Hashi. Yes. Hashi. Okay, I'm gonna learn Japanese RPG. Oh, it's literally just called Learn Japanese RPG. Hiragana Forbidden Speech. Great for an absolute beginner. If you're more of an advanced beginner, say you already know Hiragana and a pile of vocabulary, it's still good for listening slash reading practice to bridge the gap to more advanced media. Fully game. Oh. Like this is probably more useful. Most helpful review in the last 30 days. Helps me memorize Japanese so that I can go to Japan and speak Japanese with the Japanese. <laughs> I like that. I guess where else would you speak it? Should we play that? <laughs> Should we play another? Do we keep it learning Japanese theme? Do you want to right now? Do I? Do I? Should do audio only. Konnichi, what's up? That is. <laughs> oh, Kutsu was shoe stu shoe store. <laughs> New game of, game of the year just announced Garden of Bun Bun Seven. 
Before the release, before Garza Obama 5 releases, let's go. Wait, so 6 is not announced? Manhole. 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 Kaban. Kaban. What's that again? To blam. Bag? A bag bag Six is out, five is not really? Was that on purpose? Stecka. Steck Stecka. Steck Stecka. When in doubt, just say the same thing in English, but with a Japanese accent. You're right. There was like somewhere around here. Uh. Oh, yeah! Kagami. Kagami. Uh. How do you say baguette? In JP pun <laughs> Baguette <laughs> Terebi Terebi Tenchi 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 Where's it say Renchi? Tenchi Renchi Benchy. Benchy. Did she say that? Benchy. Benchy. Genkan Mato. Genkan Mato. Benchy. Uh, welcome, Matt. Welcome, Matt. Genkan Mato. Coffee. Coffee. Can I get a coffee? Iced coffee, please? Oh, sorry, I don't understand. Iced coffee! Oh! Eiga poster. Eiga poster. Eiga poster. Eiga poster. Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> they were gentle. They gave me the ones that sounded like English. Sticka, Benchy. <laughs> I will say it's pretty relaxing. It is a game that, that, like, despite not having a lot to do, is kind of engaging because it's all on you about on how much you want to learn, right? Or like how long you want to keep practicing this, I guess. E. First, I should probably learn how to read. The atmosphere is cozy. I want to chill at the cafe. Learn Polish in a similar way? Really? Is it that similar? So, like, you can straight up. Like, if you remove the UI, this would be, like... Lo-fi, chill beats to study to... Background. You could have this game as, like, an atmospheric background. Go ahead.
<laughs> Bucket is bucket the wind tapping. <laughs> that is so good. It's not similar, but I've learned in a similar way because native language has a lot of similar words and grammar stuff. True. Uh, whenever I whenever I speak in Ilurian and like guys guys says it's like oh it's like I'm hearing English, but I'm like having a stroke and I suddenly can't understand it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's like really, really similar, but still different enough in a way that you don't understand it. <laughs> Hi, Yuria, how's the Nihongo st study? Great. It's actually pretty fun. Like, uh... Neck hole! <laughs> Sa Sakura! I thought it was just a tree. Neck hole me! <gasps> Rock! Iwa? Yo, we have a... We have a new object. Iwa. Rock! That's not the thing. Yo! <laughs> Eva. Ice cream. Stu stuuru. Joro. Shokubutsu. Menu. Menu. Coffee. I forgot what phone was. Sumaho. Oh, like a sumato phone. Smaho Zashi Open Open That's just English Open They're open Let me in No rain come back The game has a mini textbook for phrases and grammar somewhere But it really does seem really Yeah Like I feel I should probably learn how to read. It wasn't the tapping, you probably. Oh, here we go. When saying good morning in Japanese, it is important to decide if you need to speak politely with someone. In the case of speaking to a superior, you will likely say, Ah, I see. Ohayo <laughs> gozaimasu. You will likely say, Ohayo gozaimasu. However, if you are casually speaking to your friend, you can use. Ohayo? <laughs> Just Ohayo? <laughs> this is similar to using the shortened greeting, morning, in casual English. You may have noticed something interesting about the spelling and pronunciation of. Konnichiwa. 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 Konbanwa. Konbanwa. The final characters. Yeah, I can't read, so. Ha. Ba. You are actually hearing that's because the phrases were part of longer greetings which were gradually became shortened over time. It's just one of those things that you gotta know, I guess. Just like in how like how the fuck are you gonna explain to someone in Japan like oh this place is called Kansas and this place is this place is called Arkansas but you spell it like Arkansas I don't know why it's pronounced like that it's just different you just gotta know <laughs> mm. 
It feels like the moment you can read, you can understand it more. Yeah, and it's a lot more useful. You need to learn the magical runes first. Oh, I'm gonna buy the the learn Japanese RPG, okay? I'm gonna make my weeaboo dreams come true. Watashi wabaka gaijin. As you may have understood by now, Japanese has a lot of differences. Some, when it comes to speaking formally and informally, when saying hello to your friends, you might even want to say, which sounds similar to the English, Yahoo! Yahoo! <laughs> Japanese even has a specific word for saying hello when answering the phone. Ah, mosi mosi. The origins of this phrase go back to the humble version of the verb to say going to speak, which was adopted and shortened over time to become more casual. Oh my god. Expressing thanks, go ahead. Dozo? Saying sorry. Each day of the week has a different kanji in Japanese and ends with this, which is just like the English day. Okay. Yahoo! <laughs> kanji help. Fuck that shit. Now you may have noticed that Sunday has the same kanji twice. Wait, does it? But each of them are pronounced differently. This is because kanji can actually have different readings. As well as diff different meanings like sun or day. But how do you... How do you know which meaning you should... Like, which one you should say? Sun, sun, day, day? The onyomi reading of a character is typically based on original Chinese pronunciation and typically used in compound words with more than one kanji. Whereas the konyomi readings, which originated in Japan, are typically used when a kanji is written on its own or attached to hiragana characters. We love Sun Sun Day Day. <laughs> There are many exceptions, however, so it is best to consult a dictionary when learning how to read kanji. Thank you, game. <laughs> kanji is like the dark souls of language learning. Learning kanji can be tough, but it is necessary. Is it necessary? Is it? I don't think I'm ever gonna live in Japan. I am just there to buy my video games and mangoes and then I'm out of there. <laughs> to further compli complicate things mentioned in the last se uh, lesson, you might notice that for example the kanji in Sunday <laughs> isn't read the same as sun or day. This is what called Juku Jikun reading, where the country's usually usual readings are disregarded in favor of a typically easier spoken native Japanese compound reading. Several of the words relating to days are just like this. So it is a good idea to just learn them individually and don't think too much about it for now. Okay. Kyo. Ashita. Asate. 昨日、おととい、平日、週末 Grab the man mangoes and dip out. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> 私、私たち 
僕俺。漢字 isn't Dark Souls, it is roguelike. <笑> Bro。俺。あなた。君。あなた。君。あなた。お前。You you you you。ああ。昨日平日。今日。明日。Oh I see。最低。明日。明後日。昨日。All have that。一昨日。平日。週末。Bro。Why would you design a language like this? Just don't. Just have it the same everywhere. Kanji is hard until it's not, then it's hard again. Huh? When speaking in Japanese, first person pronouns are often omitted when it's When it is clear from the context that you are subject, oh my God, Japan is ruined. They have pronouns. The woke has gone to Japan. <laughs> What do we do? <laughs> When they are not admitted, however, personal pronouns can often tell you a lot about a person how they see themselves, as each one has a different nuance. It's <laughs> Gender neutral can be used by everyone in formal. Watashi. Watashi. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Boku and stuff. Watashi. Boku. Boku. Typically used by males or more masculine leaning females in a casual setting, but is not used when addressing yourself to superiors. Has a much more macho yet vulgar and rude connotations. Which one? This one? Ore. Ore? Ore. But why? And while it is fine to use with others or equal of equal, equal social status, this would not be appropriate to use to use with people you do not know or those above you. This is also so. It's it's also it's just very much cultural, right? Like they're very much like, oh, if this person is older than you, they are your superior. Things like that. You just don't have that in the West. Yuri is <laughs> definitely an ore. <laughs> I mean, you obviously have that with your boss and stuff, but not not as there are not as many settings. If you look at them only in Kana with all the same pronunciations with different words, you get you get why they have can kanji. Mm. It's the kind of thing that can be found in a lot of Asian languages. Oh, okay, okay, fair. Much like first person pronouns, second person pronouns are also often omitted when it is clear who you are talking about. Knowing when to use second person pronouns is all can also be quite difficult in Japanese as they as there can be heavy connotations of using specific ones depending on the context and the relationship of the speaker and listener. If you know someone's name or their title, it is much better to call them by that instead, and also probably a lot easier. Fairly neutral way of saying you. Okay, 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 okay. I can't read that anyway. Kore wa wasabi des. Sore wa nan des. Sore wa yuzu des. Kore wa nan des ka? Natto wa dore des ka? Are des. Dore des ka? Ah, actually. Okay, it goes a little bit deeper than I thought. I thought it was just words, but it also has some sort of grammar stuff. Or like it it really the like the basics, right? I will also say it's a lot more engaging to do these kind of things. That's why like going to classes is might maybe better. It feels a lot more engaging. Um than if I were to do this on my own. <laughs> like right now, I'm kind of talking about it with you guys. I like that a lot better than 
Otherwise, it's just like reading, right? It's just studying. Made for Zoomers? I think this is like too much text already. Like, obviously, this could be a textbook. But you have, we have the pronunciations and stuff. So that's nice. But like, the text on its own is not engaging. I just like reading it when I'm with you guys. And this is just like any... They should... I don't know if they're going to update this game, but they should have... Different... Different areas. So right now, it's like city. So you're learning words related to this area, of course. So they should have one with just like temples and castles. I think that would be nice. Or maybe... Different eras. Like, it doesn't have to be explained. You have a magical camera, now you are in the... <laughs> in a time where samurai are alive. And they should have a creepy easter egg that if you zoom in, there's a monster. Or like a demon. And it's like, oh, Oni! <laughs> Get, get Isekai to learn Nihongo. Uh, yes, exactly. I think that would be great. It's a bit loud now. A horror player feedback from Yuria. Yes, they should do it. I swear, this will go into all the horror compilations. Craziest horror things that are not in horror games. Devs, are you listening? <laughs> the kanji pipeline is the fuck is this? Oh wait, I know what this word means. But because the kanji of which has 9,000 readings of the kanji is it... I don't, I don't even understand the sentence. All Toa characters canonically speak Japanese, so if you get brought to Gen Sokyo and you aren't Japanese, you're pretty much screwed. I think I'd be screwed regardless. Ah! Oh my god, the flame rage! Ah! Da, da, never mind, they're okay. Oh. <laughs> Yuri a bar piece your egg. <laughs> you threw so many that the frame rate died. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Why? Should I make the throw cheaper? Maybe I'll make them 300 bits. <laughs> Sapling, hello, welcome. Can I get a refund? No. <laughs> take take it up to Twitch. Gomi Bako. Smaho. 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 Smaho? I don't know what that is. Smartphone. Oh, if I am in the game, the frame rate of the tits drops. The frame rate of my tits drop. <laughs> Smaho. Smaho. Oh, yeah. Smaho! Dakugaki. 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 
ブラコガキワオラクガキラクガキラクガキラクガキラクガキラクデンキーやストアブックストアおわずでテクストアソラテクストアソラダイコンダイコンラディッシュ。No one in chat has given me daikon recipes. What the fuck am I gonna do with half the daikon that's been in my fridge for for two weeks now? Suitcase. Suitcase. Iwa. 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 Juice it up and drink the drink the pulp. I don't have a juicer. Give it to Geist. I don't think Geist is gonna use it. <coughs> we used half of it for the kimchi. The answer is make pickles. Okay, so make more pickles with it. <laughs> You are as rock. Paste, paste, paste. Happy paste to you, yo. Menu, menu. I've never had Japanese radish. I guess you can also eat it on its own. It has a good bite. It's probably good in salads, but I don't eat salads. Again, stop giving me the camera. Why is that even a word that's in this game? <laughs> Cut it up with carrots and make soup. Wait, is that a thing? Camera? Is there one here? No? I swear, why is there not a camera at the tech place? Camera. 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 Cat. Oh, the lady looked at me. Smaho. <laughs> Do I have enough coins for a gacha? <laughs> At scallions? So my mom does. Oh. New filter! Yo! Oh, a chromatic filter. Oh, that makes me sick. Okay, um, this will be a game that I re will revisit once I know how to how to read.
Di Di Daikon Radish Recipe Korean Pickled Radishes Try my pickled carrots and daikon recipe Six ways to cut daikon Pickled radish See, everyone is just pickling it Radish salad Radish kimchi Vietnamese pickled carrots and daikon Low carb daikon chips. That looks cool. Grab a daikon radish. Thin, slice thinly and add garlic powder, thyme and paprika. And then rub, rub in the spices. And then you bake for two hours. And then you have daikon chips. How many degrees? Maybe... Honestly, that looks good. Maybe I should make chips. Daikon radish and chicken soup. That looks good too. Yeah, everyone is saying... Either... Either you just pickle it... Or a salad. Sure, send me a recipe. I think tonight I'm gonna have uh, my frozen pizza for dinner. <laughs> yeah, the vibe of the game is good. I saw, um, I added it to my wish list yesterday when I was buying the game. Uh, apparently, this game gives a really good vibe of Japan. Release date, top selling date, edit. The kids we were. Let me look it up. The kids we were. The kids we used to be. Turn down the volume of the game. Where is it? It looks like 3D Dog Game Heroes.
it seems there's a there are a lot of games just like the summer summer game i forgot what it's called similar to the one that one 3ds game that i played <laughs> Where it's just a kid going on an adventure, and it's like summer in Japan. That's like a, that's a big genre. <laughs> this is like a lot of Japanese people yearn for their youth. I mean, I assume everybody does. But knowing how harsh the work culture and everything over there is, I can uh, I can imagine that that's even more of a desire. Can I DM? Oh, yeah, 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 you can. Thank you. As much as I love action-packed video games, there are times when a break is necessary. Simple puzzle games and wholesome narrative adventures are my favorite when I'm trying to relax from other high-intensity genres, which led me to be interested in this strange adventure <laughs> title, The Kids We Were. <laughs> The Kids We Were is an adorable example of a low-stress narrative adventure. Originally released as a mobile phone app, the game's graphics are similar to 3D Dot Heroes and provide ah, some beautifully yeah. immersive environments to explore. A freaking the mobile game. Levels like how this creative presentation of a Are real there people who still like solely develop for mobile? That seems I guess there's a big market on there, but I don't know world Japanese town D is that the target the audience you want the to sky reach? and lighting seamlessly blend to create a unique setting for each interaction to take place and it's full of charm is that one the game you play where the dad is actually an alien ultraman and something about the washing machine the yes however an ordinary day turns uh, what's it called in again? a matter of moments the emotional tale opens as Minato and his sister Mirai grab my join DS. their mother on a train ride to a memorial service however Minato and his sister have other plans. They have a secret mission to find their father. Their parents had a nasty divorce, and they haven't seen their father in a long time. After their mother departs for the service, the two young siblings begin their adventure. But unfortunately, this is where the slice of life ends and the enigma begins. The siblings slowly unravel <sighs> a monstrous acquired. puzzle surrounding their dad's disappearance and a notebook describing the seven mysteries of Kagami, involving time travel, Maybe curses, and even yokai. More, even I'll more interesting is yes Minato comes actually. upon a spaceship and a stuff. message from himself in the future. The adventure is exceptionally narrative heavy. Speaking to everyone in town is necessary to receive all called? the information needed to progress. However, Attack exploration comes into Friday play as you meet monsters. with friends to discover the secrets of a notebook <laughs> scattered throughout the town. Kagami consists of several streets and numerous places to visit, like a shrine, schoolyard, and bathhouse. Although you are contained to just a few streets, new angles, time of day, and even alternate versions of the locations lead to each area- Yeah! Peggy 7 This game has no lost media if you never bought it. Obviously, like, it's not 100% lost, because... Did you know it's really easy to hack your 3DS? You can just go to 3DS dot guide something. I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, officially. <laughs> Why the fuck is the trailer? Some guy talking. Is there not a trailer without someone talking? なるのかと。そう。This is a fun. This is a fun game. Fun stream. I remember. ソータが手に入れたものが怪獣カードだよ。さて、怪獣カード。この勝負はあなたの勝ち。すってんコロリン踊り出す。ソータは他の子の名前はまだわからないけど、その子の名前だけはしっかり覚えていますか? 
the car, it, it was rigged, yeah. <laughs> Mayor is cool. They made the Shin Shinchan game. It's like it's like very similar. I wouldn't say I would call this like a genre that I usually play. This one was like a good short length. I think it was also five bucks or something in the eShop, so... It was a good deal. Okay, I'm gonna go feed my cat. <laughs> Is there anything you guys wanna watch me play? I, I'll, I will play that after break. <sighs> Baroque is all about Okay, I just wanted to know which game The game in suggestions Do you mean unsorted horror? I already streamed those. I already streamed those before. <laughs> it's because we found those games on Itch and then I uh, found them on Steam. Or later found out that they were also on Steam. I haven't played everything there, obviously. It would have been a good candidate otherwise, though. Play Warcraft 3. Reigns of Chaos. Embargo for Manor Lords is over. True. But I maybe wanted to schedule that for next week. Although I could try it out today. Okay. Um. For now, I'll be right back. You guys can talk about it. And I'll, uh, I will think about it. Okay, BRB. Here's actual BJ.
Bu. Yahoo. This is me, Yuria. Being true to who you are makes all your dreams possible. Pee pee! <laughs> I poured some warm water over my cat's food and he isn't so sure about it. He's like licking it and eating it and then walking away from it again. Like, mm, I don't know if I like this. And then he goes back to the food again. He's like, mm, maybe, maybe. <laughs> I'm hungry, so. I need that fucker to hydrate more. Okay, he is eating it. I got myself a cup of tea. I will... I think I will save Matter Lords for next week. I have some exciting games. Or at least I got some... Exciting early access stuff, but I want to put it on a schedule, so I will save them for now. Got a game called well, I got Manor Lords, and I got a game called Harvest Hunt, which seems like a rogue roguelike horror game. Like you can pick strengths and stuff, like with cards. You need to protect, like, a village. I don't know, it looks cool. I hope it's good. We're gonna see next week. Yeah, hello. Oh, and Songs of Silence? Is that out yet? I just got a demo though, but I want to try it. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I got all these strategy games now reaching out, which is nice. Lisa, <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh, yeah, maybe I should play that. I have to... I put it on the schedule once, but I had to cancel for some reason. That's a good one. Well, we're making my schedule for next week now. <laughs> dun, 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 Okay, uh... I think I can either... I think I might just play another Against the Storm map. Just something that I've played before. Did you watch the Triple I Interactive? The what? The what? Showcase live stream from three days ago. No, I did not. Oh, Slay the Spire, Vampire Survivors. Oh, well, I just saw that they announced Slay the Spire 2. That there is a new Vampire Survivors collab coming out with Contra. And a Darkest Dungeon 2 free update mode. That was that, right? I should check out Darkest Dungeon sometime. Would that be a fun game to stream? 
I saw, like, it has some cool workshop support. So that made me kind of excited to try it out. I click on the workshop and it has Dungeon Chef. Yo, they have Dungeon Meshi. Mods. What the fuck? That's so cool. Subscribe. <laughs> it's an acquired taste. Really? Should I try it offline first to see if I like it? It's a very fun game for us to watch and very frustrating for you to play. Oh, that sounds... Uh, <laughs> well, you're selling it, alright? <laughs> I heard that it can be pretty unfair. It's like tutorial fear and hunger in terms of difficulty. Unless you mod the heck out of the game. Oh, shit. So it's really hard. Sounds good. Fear and hunger is a game that I want to finish and at the same time not finish. It's been a while. <laughs> it's made so that you die. Yeah, yeah, like a roguelike, right? Just wait for the next big Termina content. Wait, that's coming? Termina. Fair and Hunger. Did they say that's happening? I hate the reviews. I want to get Pocket Cat pregnant. I etched to Dawn at least seven times today. I can't get enough. What the heck? This game makes me want to do black magic and HRT. Marina is so lovely. Oh! Doctor, I'm afraid it's Termina. You have one tel telectroscope at day three. Stage four, say goodbye to family. What? It's coming if we don't have a concrete date because the creator keeps like adding more stuff unintentionally. This happened to my buddy from Romania. <laughs> Got 20 hours into the game still at the beginning. Average day in Poland. Three nights at Czech Republic. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I'm gonna play some more Storm. I'm gonna play a singular match. Because it's my addiction and comfort game at the moment. I'm just gonna keep the title Neon Gojazu. <laughs> Did you like the camera part? Yes, because it really helps you remember things. It's like, it's visual learning with not just, uh, not just looking at images. I still have the game open. Car. I just wish it had more environments. 
Yuri, I just like taking pictures of the cats. The cats are kind of creepy in this game. Honestly. Du -du -du -du. Pokemon Snap? Uh, let me see if Twitch is linked again. There we go. go here what is a royal resupply we're gonna just do it a stretch behind is it It could be a little bit behind, actually, because there were some frame drops at the beginning of the stream. Ah! Ah, thank you! Hey, yo, welcome. What's up, gamers? We're coming downstairs. <laughs> There's still hot water if you want tea. Actually, I don't know if it made enough. <laughs> How was the stream, you guys? Did you guys have fun? Gonna bring the eggs. Oh, Mary, thank you. thank you! Also A this. Also A this. Thank you so much for the 15 months. We got quality content. Did you guys save the, the videos? I want to watch them. Because I couldn't watch the stream. <laughs> Things that indeed happen. <laughs> Wait, you guys should post them in the in the Discord. Thank you. I want to see them. I'm glad you guys have fun. How far did you... Did you guys beat the second, like, quota? How far did you guys get? We did! Oh, holy shit. Nice. I think I... Like, I... Did I make it that far last time I played? I think we made the second. We didn't beat the third one. There's this one, like, shadow enemy that popped up. And he was like... He, do, he kills everybody. I'm just gonna play Comfy City Builder now. Dad, he, he throws you? Yeah, it's like this really tall man. That one. Dad. Okay, I think stream might be a little bit behind. I had some frame drums at frame drums. Frame drops at the start of the stream. Uh everything is dangerous. Can you guys join? Join town? Is it working? Dream frops. 
Or join Forest. Big fan of Blender Man. Me too. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, you guys are here. There you go. You guys are beavers. And Larry is a forest guardian. Where are you? Where's Larry? Oh, here's Fake Knight. Oh, here you go. There she is. Okay, hi. <laughs> I will speed things up. I'm uh, playing on like a. Uh, the third. No? Like hard difficulty now. You have like easy, normal, hard, harder. That one. The fourth one. You can be a forest spirit, yeah? Or forest guardian? I don't know. Okay, let's get some beavers to do some, some wood cutting. Here we go. We just got beavers. It's just beavers. It's all we got. <laughs> But beavers are my favorite. The game kicks you out really quickly, so I don't I don't know how to fix that. If I can make it easier for I went through the settings and it doesn't seem very possible. Yeah, it kicks you out so fucking fast, but there's not much you can do. <laughs> you just have to keep rejoining or something. Gain 30 meat every time a villager leaves or dies. Let's do that. <laughs> no, you don't you don't have to feel bad. So basically, for those who have not haven't seen this game. So we are building a settlement in this forest, but the people or the, the forest doesn't like that we are cutting through the forest. <laughs> That's it, pretty much. So the forest guardians are trying... To, you can sign up as like a forest guardian, I think. And you can, you can like try to stop me... ...from expanding. Or like make it harder for me. Cooked up and raw fit in a warehouse, so... You guys are poisoning my food at the moment. Which means my villagers get upset and they will leave. No, that's good, but this global resolve. Oh yeah, that makes me happier. Five percent chance of producing double yields. Thank you. Yeah, so this is a roguelike city builder. So here I have these... Um, okay, essentially, under here I have the, the blue bar and the red bar. If it fills up, I'll, if the red one fills up, I lose. If the blue one is filled up, I win. And I can make it fill up by doing these tasks. They are random. So this one is like, okay, build a trading post and sell some stuff. Which is the one that I'm picking because I want a trading post anyway. And it makes the red one, the red bar go down if you complete it and the blue one go up. Discover for glades. Eh, picking that one. And of course they give like rewards and anything. Some of them have a time like... Cut through five blades. Five, five minutes, which is fucking impossible. We're not gonna do that. They have really good rewards, but they're really hard. Uh, plus one, we're doing... Should I do this? Yes. But the red bar also goes down if like your villagers are happy. And you kind of have to build like your city around... Uh, the, what these orders are, I guess. You can get resources from the map. So here there's vegetables I can pick. 
fields and with that you can cook and make meals or with the reed fields i think you can make like fabric and stuff <clears throat> and from wood we can make planks which can build buildings etc etc but it is random as to what shows up here so let's say if i really want to build like, right now, I don't have any building that can produce these planks, so... Should probably get one of those, but none of... I got zero. <laughs> so that's the roguelike element. You have to be kind of lucky. You do get rerolls. The first one is free, but then they start costing money. I will pick bricks for now. Uh... Should I get a farm? I don't know. I will save them. Build later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I've been doing. So essentially, I just start cutting as much wood as possible and only build a trader. So that... Uh, you can buy the resources that you need for the first glade. At least. Right now, I just don't have a lot of villagers, so... The one thing that I always want first is at least something that can build planks. I know I can. Like, I have a workstation. It can make, like, the, the basic stuff. Planks, fabric, bricks. But as you can see, like, I got a brickyard. This one has three stars in bricks. Which means that it needs less resources to make those things. So let's say in the in the really bad ones I need 10 wood and in the really good one I only need like two. So you're wasting less. Something like that. Uh how much do I have free? Just one. Okay. I'm just gonna cut through these as much as possible first. So we can cut them up immediately. Certain races like working certain buildings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so the beavers are good at wood cutting and they're also good in turn just working with anything wood. Or anything like mechanic stuff. The humans are good at farming. The foxes are good at collecting. Beavers. I like beavers. Beavers are my favorite. Beavers are cute and you need so much wood. <laughs> wood and wood-based accessories. And here we have the hostility of the forest, so... The more... Like, the, the more you cut through the forest, the angrier it gets at you. So now it's like, not that bad. Because we just started out. But the angrier the forest gets, the harder it becomes, essentially. And also, like now it's storming and everyone always gets upset during the storm. You are you could say that we are against the storm. <laughs> Oh, wait, I have to make the trading post. Um... I hate building it so close to the heart. It's fine. Okay, I'm gonna place this one here and then we are immediately cutting through it. Once the storm is over. I'm gonna build a workstation just... just because. Okay, here we go. They're here. Okay. 
Okay, we need blight post or tear down. Feeds everything for every 20 food produced, two blight red seeds. Okay, we don't have any food production, so that's not that bad. Are the rewards worth it though? Should probably just get. Uh, I have deal. I wonder if I can make that in time. Yana. Yana. Uh, I can buy a farm from her. Or we should get the trappers. Let's just get trappers. <sighs> Nothing that I want. Clay pit. I'll think about it. We are a star that is approaching. Ah, uh, <laughs> more beavers. <laughs> Chaining post. We need ten ember to An old forbidden ritual increases yields by 100% and all buildings that use fertile soil you will lose all stored food upon... Oh, let's pick this. Because we have so little food anyway. We just started, that's a good one. I'm, uh... Taking... One away. Just eat wood, what the fuck? Should I... I think I can tear it down. How much... Can we build a blight post still? We can? There he is! Okay. okay. Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna be okay. Oh, we can make, uh... We, oh, we can get lots of meat here. I don't think I need anything. I'm gonna save up. The generous donation is nice, though. But I can never sell. I cannot sell enough. New orders. I'm gonna wait for a bit. Da -da -da. Don't have enough units. I guess we're just gonna do a little bit less. One more. Ten for now? And then... Has a chance to get food from trees? Oh yeah, we get meat and fiber. That's nice. I'm gonna there a break. Get another one. Otherwise it goes too slow. Me trees. Mm. Yummy. Tomorrow we're cutting through here. Let me get this. Okay, they got it. They got it. They got it. Burn.
Gonna have one working here. 20 planks limit for now. Should I just do fiber? We have a brick thing. Low on food. I'm working on a game. Break open. Ooh. That's nice. Just don't have much. After this, I will have ember. This just... Yeah, this is... Uh, we got isekai <laughs> Need them to make the... the meat. She'll make a cook house, field kitchen, what is it? Gotta do what you gotta do. We got prep. Let's go. Soon I will have the ember. Okay. Get some meat. Leftover crops gain for every 10 herbs. Oh, I should have got the. Give me an additional objective. No, I'm gonna reroll. This one. Oh well, we're gonna make it now. Give me wood! Planks! Yes! Can I make it? Doesn't fit nicely. Bothers me. <laughs> Production, multiplier three or higher. Do we need breaks that much? Prefer if they carry. Oh. <sighs> I'll think about it. I need the. Uh... Uh, luxury goods. But that's okay. That's okay, that's okay. Okay, I got foxes now, right? If they build... What the fuck is this? Bury the entrance, perform ritual. Yo, we're doing that! Perform the ritual. Scrolls, resin, oil, tea... Ten oil. Wood? Not enough. <laughs> hey. Okay. Okay. I like it. I like your voices. Oh. 300! Yeah. Okay. Don't use the oil, please, here. Thank you. Investigate. Here we got converter against through some weird religion again. What do you mean? 
I need more villagers. Hamidang. Oh, nice. We get the blue blocks too. Ugh. There's zero. Where the fuck is he? This guy bringing it to? Taste a biscuit. There's no food we can make. <laughs> I guess they're all, they're constantly eating the raw stuff because there's nothing else. Taste the honey sauce. Taste the goodness of the biscuit with the honey sauce. Don't get your honey sauce on me. I don't like the way you chase those magic wings. Well, if they die, we get meat, so... How bad is it really? <laughs> uh, this place... Stop producing... Oh, I need to make the lumber mill first, actually. Where should we make it? Mm. We'll just have our like our row of buildings. There we go. Cryo, please. For oh, they can already make it. Okay. Stop, stop plank production. Okay, cool. Get a beaver in there. Make 20 for now, too. There's so little wood. This is almost done. Except, just gonna cut stuff down. I don't know. Don't unsauce my honey. I don't like the way it tastes with my chicken wings. Dun, 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 dun. Mm, I'll think about it. <laughs> Wait until the foxes are done with the event. Yay, they're done! Yay! Deliver! Eh. Rain. Five. Oh, I have ten minutes now. How nice. That's still too much. The same! It keeps even me the same! <laughs> uh... We're gonna get this one. The illusion of choice. Oh, this has so much food. Break it open. Then break this one open too. Fuck it. Just go. Send the foxes later to help. They really want you to do that specific one, for real.
Oh, they're both here. <clears throat> sorry, I'm sorry. Don't care about zero. I said don't. No, oh, don't leave. I need you guys. Stop working. It's okay, take a break. <laughs> no! Just chill. Build your house. Oh, it's going up. Oh. No. No! They left. Shit. Help. Help. Go help here. <laughs> They're homeless. I was making... I was working on it. But the foxes are homeless and the one that left was a fucking beaver. Oh, now you're gonna build. I see. Look at that. How nice. Fuck, I should've gotten lizards, actually. I know. No. Yo, hey, what's up, lady? You wanna buy, uh... Ugh. I wanna buy stuff from you. I'm not dis I haven't decided what yet. How many of these do I have? Zero. Ah, I need some food. Need to make food. Oh, yeah. Can make jerky. Not for now. Porridge. Not a lot. Put something in here. Then biscuits. Plus. Okay. I know what I want to buy. Get all this. This thirty nine. Okay. We're getting veg. What else can make the pickle goods? All of these. All of them. Yeah. Uh. Maybe they added it later on, so you can have something to cook with at the start? Didn't I already pick this one? Oh no, I got the herb garden. Might be nice. I'll pick it for now. So we can have some food. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. You can choose one blueprint. Ooh. All camp production is increased by 100%, but all buildings are used for tools, so have their yields decrease. No, I don't want that. Twice as food consumed. Glade event speed increased by 30. Uh, let, we can pick through the free blueprint. That's nice. 
Is this this is being picked up? Mm. I want something that can make uh luxury goods so that we can use that for the trader. To carpenter, is there anyone that can that has high level luxury goods? Three, three. Two seems to be about the highest. Also, two, are we already getting this as a reward? Uh, it's gonna take a while though. But if we're already getting that, then I don't want it. What would be good? I'll just wait. <laughs> Start cutting through here. All this. Okay, what's going on here? Another ritual. My strange voices can be heard from the sealed vault. All woodcutters and gatherers get a minus 12 penalty to resolve. Only active when being worked on? Oh, I'll do that. We'll just do that again. Where did I put the other fox? Oh, they're still gathering stuff. Take a long time, man! I guess it would be easier to... ...go... ...where it's not a stick. Help him. Help him, Kaz. Look at that. What are you guys doing? What does it even mean? What are you doing? <laughs> it would be nice if we could welcome these people if we had resources. What's this distillery? Wine, porridge, barrels? Hell yeah! I want that rebuilt. Go. consumption uh can couldn't you sit somewhere like the minimum I don't have production limit. They're just gonna keep... If I stop... 
getting these, then I can turn this off. Give that to these people. If there's 24 still in here. Probably not. Hey, it is done. Deactivate. Ugh. Ooh, yeah. 10. Okay. Harvester's camp has nothing nearby. There's so much to harvest! Lots of fiber. Very good. Yo! Rock! Look at that, okay. can cut through this. Hey. For every 20 felt trees, global resolve is increased. Yes. I want it. Uh, yes. It's lizard time. Turn off porridge. Start producing porridge here. Yes. Turn this one on. I say 40 scrolls, 40 ale? Can I buy that? How much is this worth? Nothing. I could buy it, but... I don't have the resources. <laughs> Which one had... Oh, both of these. This one has the... Artist. Complete any three dangers are forbidden. Oh. Nothing. Okay, start... Going south. You too. Oh wait, no, 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 cut through this. Clearance is next. Okay, then here. Oh, this is complete. Yeah. So it's in the beginning so tough when you don't have enough villagers and then other times. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, they're still not done. Burn down? Report? But it costs so much. Burn it down it is. Some secrets are better left untold. Get 60 hostility every 60 seconds. Great!
We are already at level fucking five. <laughs> okay, when this is gone, I'll build another one of these. <laughs> Maybe I should make something... Oh, did it say it needed the temple, right? No, 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 don't have to do that anymore. There was an option. Something that makes... Cheaper pickled goods. Bakery, cookhouse... Porridge level 3... Oh, we already have the other one. Pickled guts, too. We love the pickles. The beavers love the pickles. Is that even a thing? Level 3? Porridge, porridge, porridge. I don't think so. Okay, then maybe... Level 2. Pack of crops. Uh, fabric is nice too. Yeah, fuck it, repeat this. Delete. Delete. Make this nothing. What do you mean, nothing? Start cutting more. Start cutting, start shopping. Yeah, cooking time. Okay, turn off the pickle goods. Do all of them like this? All of them like this. Oh, uh, then I'm not making jerky either. Fuck that. Y'all just gonna eat pickles. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 wait. Welcome these people first. If you think about it, pickles are technically a form of vegetable jerky. True. There you go. Actually, I don't have a lot of stuff to make them with. Uh, how much? What do we have? A bit by thirty. Should probably make some more housing too. Okay, should be good. Payments. Twenty five oil. Okay. I don't have that. Uh, is there anything that I can't pick right now?
Picking market. We'll do skewers. Alcohol. <clears throat> Kill tiles. I'll do a guild house because the beavers like that. <laughs> Stop being upset. Fiza gear left. No! Stop leaving! Stop being upset. He was done making planks. Okay, we're cutting through a disc late. Uh. Rooms have one more rebellious or every impatience gain resolve, yes. When are they coming? I need to buy oil. How much was it? 25. Ooh. Foragers. I should have bought... I should have gotten foragers, huh? <laughs> Caught it all down. Okay, what is it here? Rob the dead or pay for a funeral? Uh, I'll think about it. <laughs> is it perhaps anything of use here? No. What about here? Or here? No, not nothing that I want. Stop cutting my forest! I will never stop! <laughs> oh, they're done here. Okay, let's, uh... Does it fit here? Can I make it a line? Fuck no. There's a plant in the way. Just do here. Hello. 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 He doesn't have what I need. I guess we're gonna rob the dead. Minus 12 to Beaver's Resolve. The reward isn't that worth it either, so yeah. We're gonna rob them. It's fine. I just need the event to be completed. This is still fine. I want more camps. Get another beaver in here. Too random. Okay, that's not that bad, I guess. How am I gonna get that? 
Wait, does this camp produce roots? Yes, it does. That might be kind of good. 14. Is this enough? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. I wish I built a brickyard, actually. Ooh. <laughs> Hello, Yuria. What is this game mainly about? So, essentially, it's a roguelike city builder where... Uh, at, at its base, if the, this red bar is full, we lose. If this blue bar is full, then we win. It slowly goes up per minute, as you can see. But it also can also go up if you do... By performing certain tasks that the, that the queen might not like. And you can lower it by doing tasks that make her happy. <laughs> or if the people are happy, then it goes down too. And the blue goes up. <laughs> but since uh, like your orders and stuff are random... Twenty each. So the roguelike element is essentially like you have these tasks that you can complete, and those make the blue bar go the blue bar go up and the red one go down. But what those are is random, so you kind of have to build your village around those tasks, essentially. Oh shit. So it's different each time. I'm not doing this. There's no way. I cannot build these. Fifteen tools and building materials. Okay, I think I can do that. Oi, oi. Yeah, we're not getting oil. We shall see what gets destroyed. Wheat field small. Oh, we had so many of those. That's fine. This is being worked on. And you have to make food. You have to collect resources from the, the forest that you find. The events in here are also random. So that's also part of it. Ludo. Ludo. What does this guy even do? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing nearby. Get it here. A lot of this... Yeah, most of the game is random. <laughs> but that's what keeps it really fun, right? Because it's different each time. There's no... Well, there is a bit of a strategy that you can usually do and follow. But there's still some change that makes it fun. Okay, I'm gonna build some fox housing around here. Yay, complete! Let's go! Now we can make this. Finally. Where should I make it? Mm. <clears throat> Gotta work with what you're given. Is there a game over? So yeah, you lose once this bar is fully red. So if you've been taking too long, essentially. Or did every... Or 
Like, the bar goes up if, like, your villagers are upset too, so you gotta make them happy. I can always move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it. Is this building made? Yes! Let's go! When the red bar fills the queen fires you, yeah, like you're not a good... You're not doing your job. Bye, bitch. Yeah, money. Gain 12 ammo for f every 50 ale. Trade routes worth more than one ember doesn't apply or worth uh, one more. Silent looting. We're just doing this. I think it stacks. What's over here? Doing this one too. Upcoming payment. 30 oil. Okay. Okay, this is this is already here. Should probably make a warehouse. this fit here? Oh, it does. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No one sells the shit that I need! What's it gonna destroy if I don't do it? Two again. Okay, it's not that bad. Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. In... Four plant fight. We have enough of that, right? We have enough of these. I'm just buying food. Just gotta buy all the foods. <laughs> well, let's see how much we have first. No, no, no. Okay. Not these. Not these. Not. We're buying veg. <laughs> Actually. For the pickled goods. Okay. That's fine. Bye, lady. Oh, we could have made the grill. Grill. We can make skewers. Wait, no one wants to skewers, actually. They want... Oh, they do want skewers. Okay, okay. Here, get you in here. Copper bars. Ew. 
The lizards, yeah, they love the meat. Oh, I should make a farm somewhere. Did I farm land somewhere new? No, only up there. Okay, this bitch wants drizzle water. Where the fuck are we gonna get drizzle water? Drizzle? Clearance? Okay. <laughs> Just help me cut down some space here. Reed field. No, oh, the meat! The meat that is gone. We had the building that could make... Alcohol. Wait. Did we have that alcohol upgrade thing? Did we pick that? Copper ore production. Pick that, but we're not getting any of that. Is that here? No. A oh, plus two. Oh, yeah. Plus two to L production. Okay. It's drinking time. Just gonna. Make all these buildings over here. <laughs> Something that can make building materials? Rolls, maybe? It's just one of those things that I might as well buy. Let's pick it. Porridge 3... No... Good. We have so many bricks already, actually. Just make pottery. Wine. We want wine too. The beavers get happy from wine. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Let's make a guild house here. That's a nice, nice little spot. Here. Back here. What did she mean by that? What does it all mean? <sighs> 35! Oh, the beavers are so upset! Don't be sad. Don't be sad. Okay. Mm. 
free fiber, three oil for every ten flower. Uh, we're picking that. If I can get something for free, I will pick it. Okay, we're gonna cut through here. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. What else does it need? We're gonna place a nice little uh, fountain here in the corner. No. Here, here's here goes the fountain. What else? Comfort decorations eight. How about some benches? I don't know. Here we go. Hello. All right, what you got for me? Harvest and crops, twenty-five percent faster. Uh, what does he need? Ale and scrolls. Wait, he doesn't sell ale. He sells wine, though. Take it, buying it. Let's get some of this too. Seven. This is good. Traders will arrive quicker. Maybe that too. Eight, eight, sixteen. 23 For how much does this sell? 102 <laughs> Okay Just skewers Okay Butter. Butter, butter. Okay. Nice. Okay, what do you got here? Praise the sun. We're gonna praise the sun. Oh, excavate. No. What was it? 15 packs of building materials. Okay, we'll just leave this alone. Food! Get those pies, girlies! <laughs> so rare. Yes. Oh, we need 20 tea. I didn't look at that. Can I make tea anywhere? Can I make tea here? No. Should I just get... We're gonna get the level 3 porridge. How much is the wine? Also 2. Okay, we're just gonna get double wine production. Because why the heck not then? Bean. Ah. No tea. But building material. We'll just buy the tea. He didn't sell tea, did he? No. What do you do? What do you do? Uh Look, I hate that it, like, takes so much. 
Take so much space. We're gonna build them next to each other. This is like... Oh, I don't have enough villagers, I need more houses. Built this here, but here we go. Weird. I'll think about it later. Fuck did you hurt me? What's wrong with you? Motherfuckers. You guys are so fucking mean. I don't get it. What the fuck did I ever do to you? I'm just trying to have fun. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Bruh! Praise the sun. <laughs> oh, my mom was winning. I felt like I barely did anything this game. <laughs> did you have high resolve? Yeah. Upcoming payment! No one, no one, none of these fuckers sell oil. Guess I'll die. Lower hostility. How much is this? Okay. 40 scrolls. 40. 40 ill. Uh, I'm buying this because they get happy when they see wine. <laughs> okay. Uh, 20 T? And then 15. Plus 3 scroll production. Like, it doesn't matter actually what I pick here. I, I win. I win now. I win. Okay, yeah. I don't have to think ahead. I will hydrate. <clears throat> Five. Maybe I can make it to the seal. Actually, it's probably pretty far away. for nothing. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna end the stream. <laughs> What's fun? I'm getting better at the game. <clears throat> Did I get any achievements? Oh, wait. Win a game near the dangerous lands modifier. Apparently, I've never done that. 
Both games were good. I, uh... I'm gonna... I, I, I have a, a motivation to try to learn some Japanese. And I think the game will be better then. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was tired yesterday. We could watch it later today. I think I'm gonna make some dinner. Maybe we can watch in like... an hour? Should we go uh, watch Fallout? Hour? Two hours? What do you guys prefer? An hour, I think. Otherwise, it might be too late. Yeah, let's do that. Um, stream tomorrow will be a bit later because uh, it's a collab with Leaf. And I think Leaf is usually asleep when I stream <laughs> or when I start stream. <laughs> so we're gonna give her a little bit of rest first. We're gonna adjust her to degenerate hours, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I heard it's it, it it's being received super well, right? The Fallout series. At <laughs> least stream will happen when Leave is awake. Yeah, uh, anytime after six, I think. So. That was like three hours ago. So, uh, like three hours later than usual, three, four. We'll leave, wake up at 4 a.m. or 10 p.m. Only God knows. Uh, <laughs> I think it, it'll be around when she wakes up. <laughs> okay. I had fun. I will find a raid victim. I'm snoozing the ad. No more ads today, please. Where is the filter for rated you? Charles. Ah, I see someone. I just see crony on the thumbnail. What the heck? Thank you. Thank you. It means a lot. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, Rebel, what the fuck are you doing today? <laughs> On the bamboo. It turns. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Yo, what the heck? Ow! Thank you!
Uh, I'll send you all to a Crash Bandicoot stream. Let's fucking go. Crash, Crash Team Racing. No, it's just regular Crash, I think. I don't know. It's Crash. <laughs> Crash mentioned. We can't watch Yuri if you give her a concussion. Yeah, okay. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go eat and then we shall watch... Uh... <laughs> Let's watch Fallout in about an hour. You don't need to... You don't have to provide the material. I will provide it and you can just watch the stream. Don't worry, Amazon. I'm paying you. You're taking lots of money for my stream, so... Don't ban me. Fallout is pretty good. I hope you guys enjoy it. Nice! I hope I enjoy it as well. Fifteen years in prison. No, fuck that. They're putting ads on their prime shit too, man. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Thank you so much for all the follows, for the subs, for the bits, holy shit. For hanging out, for chatting, for being quiet. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Thank you for having the tab open if you have sound on. Thank you for having the tab open while muted. You won't you won't hear this, but I appreciate the view that you're giving me. <laughs> Have a great rest of your weekend and I will see you all next time. Bye bye. <laughs>